The following hockey webcast is brought to you in part by InSync. The saddle going for the teddy bear toss. Uh, I think the total was over 26,000 teddy bears going to needy kids. It was impressive. Yeah, you really can't shake your stick at that. Drop of the puck, pitter patter. The Lions get at it right at the draw. It comes out of center ice and there's Dunstall with speed. He'll bring on left wing on a two on one with Todd. He tried to center. Knocked away by diving Joe. As Joe did a great job to impede a potential pass. Rockets clear to center. I think I should make a bet with you right now. For every time you say the Tigers with speed, I get two bucks. <laughs> Because it'll happen a lot tonight as the puck's in all the way down the ice. Won't go for icing here, but yeah, the Tigers have an abundance of... I'm not going to say Swiftness. it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Long with the puck now for Shannon in zone. Zone. I'm going to say it. Barry in center left side. He'll try to drill it in. Knocked away by Sauer, and he'll just send it back towards the Rocket Blue Line. And here's Luke Shen. Give it up through center. Here's Carl Simon with it out. Back pedals in his own zone. Works it off the wall, collected here by Long. Long in a five-game point streak coming into action tonight. As David talked about, leads the Rockets in overall points. He'll out a Jamie Ben. Ben high slot, can't pull the trigger. Fan on the attempt, gets it back again to Ben. Ben out here with Lucas Ludoff and Colin Long to kick off the hockey game. Goes back on the Tiger goal, remains in the corner. Here's Long with it now. Long trying to get away from Sauer. Good work by Long, now for Lucas Ludoff. Back for Colin Long. Long with it in the corner. Long stick handling, trying to get away from Carlson. Head on the forehand that he's knocked to the ice surface. Fans want a penalty. They're not going to get one. Sauer takes back on his own goal. Other pass here for Ennis. Ennis gets it out of Super Hamilton. Hamilton crisscrossing on left wing with Bosch. Bosch too quick on the left side. It's called on the outside. The Prosper of Faithful were wearing stripes tonight. The Rockets will be going to the men advantage. But that's a good sign from this top unit early. Interesting to see Brady Leibold not on the top line so far here tonight with Coleman Long and Jamie Benn. Instead, Lucas Bludoff, 10 goals in the season coming into tonight on that top unit. Brady Leibold playing in a line with Milan Kidner and Matt Bruciano. Interesting to note, Brady Leibold when he came to the Kelowna Rockets, three fights in his first four hockey games. Since that time, only one fight in his last 20. Well, and I think it's been noticed. You talk a couple of times to Bruce Hamilton and I think sometimes Bruce feels that Perhaps Brady's playing a little too cute. You know, he was brought in here to provide grit and sandpaper. And we have seen tons of that out of Brady Leavell the last little while. It'll be interesting to see if he gets back to those early ways when I thought he was really successful in the early stages with this Rocket Club. Right, he picked his spots. I mean, he wasn't crazy about it by any means. You, you think about, you know, three fights in the first four games as a member of the Rockets. Yeah, he was really involved physically. I don't know if the coaching staff want him to maybe go to that degree, but yeah, only one fight in his last 20 really tells you something. Puck goes over the glass and out of play inside Rocket territory, so face off to right of Christer. Well, they're going to take it outside the line, just outside the Rocket Blue line. Let's take a look at our game scratches tonight, brought to you by Dr. Muzzin, the official chiropractor. For your Kelowna Rockets, you can visit Dr. Muzzin on the corner of Springfield and Cooper or give him a call at 861-6151. Kyle St. Dennis and James McEwen still sidelined by concussion problems. Uh, we hear that McEwen could be in the lineup as early as this Friday and so the Rockets kick off that six-game road trip in Lethbridge taking on the Hurricanes, so that's great news. Kyle St. Dennis, we may not see him this weekend, though. Still pretty fresh into that concussion. Uh, I had a chance to, uh, to chat with Kyle this week. Feeling better, still getting headaches, though. That's always the cause of concern. Riley McIntosh and Kyle Verdino, scratches of the healthy variety. When you take a look at uh, some of the Rockets walking wounded, uh, McEwen and St. Dennis did not uh, travel to Chilliwack on Sunday. The reason behind that, not necessarily because of a lack of space in the bus, but just, yeah, when you got concussions like that, it's really tough to travel. The elevation and going up and down through the mountain pass is particularly tough on players having head problems. Puck now to center ice. Here's McMillan. He'll backhand it in. Goes to the right corner. McMillan will take back on the goal. Trying to get away from Carlson. Carlson a puck battle with McMillan. Now Evan Bludoff's out there. He'll feed it Cody Ullman. Ullman with it now. Mishandled the puck. Remains in the corner. And here's Evan with it. By the goal for Brandon McMillan. McMillan in the right corner. He'll feed off here to Evan. Evan has it against the near side board. He'll just send it towards the goal. Easy save here by Vlas Verda. And he's going to hang out for a face-off. Thomas Rosbroda, the starting goaltender tonight for the Medicine Hat Tigers. It's his sixth consecutive starting goal for the Tigers. Rosbroda, the native of Ostrava, Czech Republic, making his CHL debut this season. Face out to the left of the goaltender. Puck out in front. Is long trying to hit Ben to the side of the goal that was knocked away. And now picked up 
And the Tigers will try to move back to center. Brendan Bosch, he mishandled the puck. Lucas is there. He'll send against an airboard for Long. Long in a bundle here at Benfield. Benfield gets it in the right corner. Sends back on his own goal. Glass has some problems with it. And here's Jamie Benny. Bangs bodies with Glass. Comes loose the blue line. Barry Kemp it in. He'll try to send down low. Knocked away. Retrieved here by Glass. And he'll pump it back. Go to center ice. We've almost hit the four-minute mark of the first period. And a score. It's Shannon Center. He'll dump it in. The net miner will play it up the near side board. Collected in the right corner here by Lucas. Then moved out of his stick by Hamilton and moved back to center ice. Carlson trying to turn in. He'll feed on right wingers. Long and range wrist shot. And a blocker saved by Westbloom. Rockets gathered up and they'll turn back to the wave. Lucas on right wing absorbs a check from Cameron and he'll knife it back into the right corner. Conan takes out of his own goal. And he'll feed his defensive partner. Moves it forward. Cash right to center, right side, trying to move in, his speed in the right corner, and then being hit on the play was Colton Grant, and the Rockets clear off the glass and get it all the way back towards the Tiger blue line. Such a good job by young Colin Bowman there as he first takes the body and then makes the safe play off the glass and out. You'll never get in trouble as a rookie defenseman in this league if you can do those two things well. Grant sends it back inside Rocket territory. Dozak on his own goal. Tyson Dozak injected back into the Rocket lineup here tonight. That's great to see. Did not play on Sunday in Chilliwack. And now the Rockets to center. Brady Leibold negotiates through traffic. He'll try to dump it in. Intercepted and cleared out of center ice here by Jared Sauer. Here's Milan Kenner with an Allen left wing. will rip it back inside the attacking zone. And Carlson will take back on his own goal. Cody Carlson, by the way, played a lot of bantam and midget hockey with Tyson Berry. So look for Carlson back on D. And of course, Tyson Berry in a Rocket uniform. Former teammates playing in the lower mainland. Puck is inside Rocket territory. Here's his hood with an L for Tyler Myers. He'll feed to Colin Joe. Joe lead past Paris. Paradis at center. Lost it here to Vey. Vey pushed up the puck. Paradis gets it back again. And here goes Paradis through center. Trying to rip it back inside Tiger territory. Knocked away. Myers kept it in right point. He'll stick handle. He'll fire towards the goal. Hit a leg went wide. Remains far side board. Trying to jam it forward. Not clearing the zone though. Is Farmanera. Farmanera mishandled. And now gathered up here by McCray. McCray bumped off the puck. Tigers can clear. Remains in the right corner. Here's Sauer with a now. Sauer hit by Hood. Sauer rims it here for Farmanera. Farmanera, the former left for Hurricane and Seattle Thunderbird, gets it to center. Left side trying to move in his vein. Knocked off the puck, though. And here's Joe on right wing. Will lay it back inside Tiger territory. Right corner. Hopping out in here. That's Cody Allman. Blue line Joe. Back for Cody. He'll allow the puck to shimmy back behind the goal. And there's Glass coming out the right side. Glass had some problems with it. And the four check is Evan Bluedoff. He'll get it into the corner. And here's Glass with it now. Glass will take back on his own goal. We've hit the six-minute mark here the first period. No score and really not a lot going on so far here tonight. Here's Todd trying to turn in. Todd will get it to the right corner. Ooh, inside the rocket zone. Met on the play by Dozak. Bit of a bit of penalty there as Todd driven into the corner by Dozak. Who has the puck. He'll take on his own goal. And he'll come on the right side. He'll fade out of Cody. Holman gets it to center right side Evan. And he'll backhand it inside the Tiger zone. Big hit by Tyson Dozak. No penalty on the play. How important is Tyson Dozak to this Rocket lineup? Well, last season, minus 24. This year, he's a plus 12. That says it all. It's been amazing, his turnaround to his hockey career, if you will. One season to the next. He's been a real big contributor to the Rockets back on D. Here's Hess with a steal. He'll turn in on left wing, trying to go wide here on Bowman. Looks to take a shot, then takes back on the goal. And it's down the right corner. Got away from Long, gets to the blue line. Here's Conan, left point, wrist shot. Deflected, and Westbloom got a piece with the left pad. And Lucas Blunoff now gets it to center. Trying to feed on right wing, Ben knocks away. And picked up here by Cameron. He'll knock it back inside the Rockets zone. Colin Bowman with a nifty little tip. Unfortunately for the Rockets, it was in on Christopher Westbloom. Westy had to be very sharp to kick that one out with the right pad. Here's Conan at center. Rockets clear. And he'll dump back inside. Colon is here in right, right corner. Dozak in a battle down low here with Ringros. Ringros on the four check. Ringros will try to get it in front. Knocked away here by Dozak. Dozak gets it to Ben. Ben pops it up the wall. Can clear. Tigers keeps it in. Over skating the puck though is Carlson. And cleared by the Rockets all the way back inside Medicine Hat territory. Carlson will hurry back in his own zone. 12-15 left to go in the first period. And no score between the Rockets and the Tigers here tonight. Lead pass for Grant. He can't get there. Goes all the way down. It will go for Isaac. 12.09 left to go in the first. And still no score. This is the WHL at AM 1150. 
The following is not a radio ad for Springfield Auto Body. Gary and his team do not believe in interrupting the flow of music with an endless drone of overhyped sales and overbearing announcers. They rely entirely on word-of-mouth advertising. And now they simply like to say thanks. Thanks for telling people about the great work Springfield Auto Body does so they don't have to. So the next time you need auto body work done, listen to your friends. Go see Springfield Auto Body and then spread the word. Welcome back to your prosperous place in Kelowna, face off the left of Vos Verda, who gets started here tonight for the Minnesota Tigers. So one thing, when you take a look at the pronunciation of this goaltender, I thought, you know what? There's a Western Hockey League pronunciation guy that all broadcasters get, but I like to hear from the mouth of the broadcaster. We got a penalty coming up here. This one going to the Tigers. There's Shannon right wing. Now we got a fight in the neutral zone. Leibold's going to go at it here at center ice with Sempar. And some big rights here from Leobold. Leobold tries to throw a couple lefts here. This is the Tiger blue line. Stavohar tries to come through the right. Now a couple lefts here. He's a big man. Leobold trying to get the right free, but can't. They continue to grapple just inside the Tiger blue line. That's going to do it between those two. So Brady Leobold and getting involved early. And a tilt with the Medicine and Tiger forward who's bleeding actually on the uh, near the right side of the forehead. Brady Leopold caught Stompahar with some big blows. That's a fantastic job by Brady Leopold. And, and what do you know? We got what we asked for out of Brady Leopold less than 10 minutes into this first period. You know, it's funny. You told me that stat, Regan, and I instantly thought back to Sunday in Chilliwack. I can think of three occasions on Sunday in Chilliwack where Brady Leopold was talking the talk. And fortunately for him, nobody wanted to walk the walk with him. So I think Leopold has been a little grumpy of late. I think he's trying to send a message, perhaps, that he doesn't like being, perhaps, knocked off that top line. Yeah, it looks like Stubbahar is going to be going for repairs. He'll go to the Tiger dressing room. 11.45 left to go in the first period. No score. We are talking earlier about the goaltender. I wanted to get the pronunciation from the broadcaster for the Medicine Hat Tigers, who is a legendary radio broadcaster, Bob Ridley. He just says, say Vosverda. Just say Vosverda, and you'll be okay. Vosverda. Yeah, that's all you got to say. Vosverda. Bosford, I think I've got it. Faceoff comes outside the Tiger blue line here. Looks like two extra minutes tacked on the Tiger side. Stuff, though, you know, I was telling you, listening to the Leaf broadcast last night, Dennis Mayek, you never want to pick on a professional because, uh, well, you never know. Maybe one day you might want to be one, but Alexander Radulov. Radulov. His color guy was saying Radulov, but all night long he kept saying Alexander Radulov. Radulov. Radulov has the puck. It was just driving me insane. So, <laughs> medicine hat people, if we are not getting it right, you have my sincerest apologies. Yeah, yeah right. Send your emails, though, to David Michel <laughs> at <laughs> Pocket of the Right Pointers with Luke Shen. Kelowna goes to power play. Crosses his feet for Long. He can't handle. Long in the corner goes back to blue line for Tyson Berry. Barry feeds off to Colin Long, back to the right point for Luke Shen. Shen waits and hesitates. He'll feed off here to Barry. Crosses his feet now for Colin Long. 11-10 left to go in the first period. Still no score. Here's as long a shot from the face-off circle. Fluttered off of glass and goes literally over the glass and out of play. Power play tonight brought to you by Kelowna, Volvo, Hyundai. The Rockets bring with them tonight. Number eight ranked power play in the Western Hockey League sitting at 20% bang on. They've still got a minute 23 with which to work in their first opportunity. Rockets send out to Long with Lucas Bludoff and also Jamie Benn. Uh, Lucas Bludoff really the hot man for the Rockets in terms of the power play. Coming into action tonight. Off the draw. It's one here by Kelowna. Picked up by Shen right point. Lucas has six power play goals in the year. Here's a fan attempt on a drive from Long. Went wide. Goes back on the goal. And here's Lucas in the right corner. Lucas trying to get away from Sauer. Lucas Bludoff down low in the corner. Trying to feed her to Jamie Benn. Ben with only one goal in his last seven games. Works to the front. His shot. It just went wide. Goes back on the goal. Colin Long's in there. Stabs at it. Trying to get it here to Lucas. Lucas down the right corner. Lucas lost it here to Bosch. And Bosch will move forward. And he's going to move back to center. Right side of Hamilton. He's away. Here's Hamilton on right wing inside the rocket zone. Trying to get away from Barry. Barry pushes him aside. Puck in the corner. And now retrieved here by Luke Shin down in the zone. You can even see Medicine Hat how proactive they'll be shorthanded with that speed. They can really take advantage of the numbers game and they get going the other way in transition. It's big problems for the Rockets. And the puck back inside Kelowna territory. Here's Big Tyler Myers who joined us tonight at WHL primetime. He'll feed out of McMillan on left wing. McMillan inside Tiger territory. Blue line Barry back for Brandon McMillan. Cross side speed for Allman at the side. But he couldn't get to the puck. Jumped off his stick. 
Myers gets it back again. Myers though can't get away from Grant. The puck picked up by Glass and he'll drill it into the rocket bench. Getting up and whistles. The, uh, the nicest stop of the night, Tory Jung. Saw that puck coming and he threw the blocker up and protected anybody from harm's way. Yeah, but what, now I'm just going to note here, I believe that's Jeff Finley right behind Tory Jung. Jeff Finley didn't have a very good week in practice. I don't know if Dylan Hood was maybe upset with being a, a healthy scratch earlier in the week. But Jeff Finley took a Dylan Hood stick to the forehead, six stitches. Had a big gash. I noticed that before tonight's game. Has such a pretty face and had a big gash in the forehead. So Dylan Hood is to blame. Puck in the right corner. That is inside the attacking zone. Lost. Now Myers gets it back. Power plays over. We're playing five on five hockey. Here's Cody Allman with it now. Lost it to Vay. Vay in a puck battle down low in the right corner. Nine and a half left to go in the first period. Still no score. Puck blue line. Here's Myers to drive. And it just worked wide. Here's Dolchak left point. He'll get into the corner now for Evan. Evan hit upon here by Conan. Puck sitting loose. Holman's in there poking and prodding at the puck. Now it comes free, and the Tigers will try to move forward with now. On lift swing with some speed. Farman era. Farman era inside the zone. Almost tugged here by Myers. Play resumes as McMillan has it against the left wall. Trying to move it off the window here for Cody Allman, and he'll slap it back over to center ice. Here's Evan Bludoff. He'll lay it back towards the Tiger Blue. Here's Carlson with it now. Drills it back inside the rocketed zone. Hopping on it, and he's dangerous. He'll beat a Hamilton a shot, and he worked it wide. Sour right point. Sour for Hamilton. He'll get a right corner for Ennis. Ennis hit a pawn. Goes back on the goal. Myers in a puck battle back behind the net here with Brandon Bosch. Parks hitting loose for Bosch against the end board. Had it on the backhand at Bosch. Now he'll try to go to the forehand. Bosch with it against the nail board. Trying to go back the blue line. Goes right between Sauer and Carlson. And all the way back inside Tiger territory. Youngster Wasey Hamilton. He looks dangerous here in this game. He's already got five goals and 14 points. Not bad at his rookie campaign. Puck back towards the rocket the blue line. And here's... Bowman with it now for Kelowna. He'll dub it all the way back inside the Tiger end. And here's Carlson behind his own goal. And he'll come with the right side. He'll just slap it off the left board. Get it back out to center right. Here's Ennis. He'll hop on it. On right wing inside the zone. Can't go away from Bowman. Puck in the right corner. That's a good job by West Bloom to spray it there. Goes back to right point. Here's a red shot. Went wide. Pick up the side. Here's a sharp angle drive and a save by West Bloom. This one of a Jordan Hickmott. And now the puck turned back to center. Kinner on left wing. Kinner inside Tiger territory. Took a drive. Benfeld went up his leg. Remains to the side of the goal. Comes loose for Hoodish shot. That whistled wide. It actually hit a Tiger D-man. Was over the glass and out of play. 7.49 left to go in the first. And still no score. This is the WHL at AM 1150. Ryan Cuthbert, captain of the Kelowna Rockets from 2002 to 2004, talks about McDermott's Player of the Month award. Wayne, Wayne's just a great supporter of the team. They just do it because they're good people and uh, good supporters. And, you know, Wayne's given somewhere upwards of uh, 85 suits now over the years, and uh, that says a lot in itself right there. That's a pretty big number, and that's a lot of happy young guys that now have suits and don't walk around in the rags they may be used to. McDermott's on Bernard, proud supporter of the Kelowna Rockets. You got the truck, now get the goods. At United Hitch and Truck Accessories, located right on Enterprise, United Hitch and Truck Accessories is the Okanagan Valley's main source for tow bars, running boards, truck covers, custom and brand name hitches, and much, much more. Talk to their knowledgeable staff today for all of your truck accessories and towing gear, United Hitch and Truck Accessories. They know what matters to you. Call them at 861-8711. Stop by 2631 Enterprise Way. Welcome back here to Prospero Place in Kelowna. Face off coming up to the right. And Vos Verda. And Rockets will sit along with Lucas Bluedoff and Jamie Benn. Technically the Rockets' number one unit. And off the draw. Won by Kelowna. Think about Ben to the blue line. Here's Byers with a gun. He'll fire. Saved by the goaltender. As Vos Verda hangs on with absolutely no rebound. Nice stop by Vos Verda. Really the first big test he's faced here tonight. Tyler Myers a couple of goals in his last few games. He's doing a good job of getting that shot hard and low. That's always a tough combination for the opposing goalies, but Boss Verda equal to the task there from Tyler Myers. And talking to the Tiger organization is an icy call here on Medicine Hat. Uh, really, at this point, it looks like Boss Verda is the number one goal center, but uh, that's only been as of late that he's actually taken over the number one duties. Right, and Hole fell the backup here tonight. Heading into action tonight. Holfeld and Boss Verda really until Boss Verda now starting his sixth straight game and pretty much split time. Holfeld's played in 15 games this series, 6-4-2. and two. 
pretty good numbers as well. A 2.76 goals against average, but maybe that save percentage at 887 a cause for concern. Puck back inside Tiger territory, picked up against the right board and cleared. Out to center ice, nicely. Here by Ben Phil, and goes back into Rocket territory. And here's Luke Shin by his own goal. Shin, of course, will participate in the training camp for the Canadian World Junior Team. They'll get it to Ben. Ben alley oops it to center. And Kenny, no, it's kept inside, or is it? Yeah, inside the Rocket zone. Hopping out of the against love for is Ben. He'll give it another try. Try to feed along. Long in a puck battle here with Cameron. Good in here, Barry, as he really lays a nice body here on Cameron. Cameron hurt on the play, and the puck goes to the right corner. And here's Luke Shan. He'll try to move back to center. Right side for Lucas. He'll lay it back inside Medicine at Tiger territory. The goaltender plays it to the near side board. Rocket make a change or two. Here's Dunstall now to center. Dunstall will pass on right wing. Trying to move with speed inside the offensive zone as Bay. He mishandled the puck. Dunstall, the former Blazers, acquired in the deal for Scott Wasden. Wasden, of course, we saw make his blazer debut friday night here at prospero place got into a fight did a pretty good job hoping for some more offense miles mccray in front was fed the puck against the end board and miles mccray lights the lamp and the rockets have a one nothing lead Boy, oh boy, we're going to be talking when that monkey comes off the back of a player, how the goals just seem to come fast and furious for Miles McRae. Now his fifth goal of the season, and his fourth in his many games. Colorado Rockets goal, his fifth of the season, scored by number 22, Miles McRae. Assists to number 21, Matthew Bruciano. And to number 20, Jesse Paradise. Time of the goal, 13-38. Puck back is hit Rocket territory. Pick up by Brandon McMillan. He'll feed out Cody Allman on left wing. Allman gains the red line. He's going to dump it in. It'll be Allman and Evan that'll give chase. Here's Allman in the corner trying to center here for Evan, but he couldn't get a stick down in time or get velocity on the drive. Here's McMillan to the left point. Now for Tyson Dozak. Dozak, a wrist shot. Saved by the goaltender. Kick to the corner. Cody Allman will swoop away from Carlson. Try to get away from Bosch. Allman to drive and a stick save by Vosverde. Remains against the nearest side board. Evan Bluedoff is in there on the floor check. Stilling the puck, though, is sour. He'll pump it back on his own goal for Carlson, who's tied up on the play by Colin Long. Puck rimmed. Kept in blue line, or is it? No, came outside the line. Dozak drills it back in. If Long touches it there, it will be an offside. It will be. We get a stoppage with 5.16 left to go in the first, and the Rockets a one nothing lead. If you're just joining us, the in-game update tonight is brought to you by Mid Valley Sheet Metal. They've been proudly serving BC since 1994. You can visit them online at midvalley.ca. Pretty good pace to the opening 20 here. Not a lot of results, though. The Kelowna Rockets jump on the board first. The Kelowna Rockets scoring first again. That's really been a, a secret to their success of late. But they continue to get goals from places where they don't necessarily expect it. Miles McRae, Matt Bruciano, and Jesse Paradis kicking in the assist on that one. That's very good news. Rockets are going to take a minor penalty now, and we're going to see this Medicine Hat Tiger power play for the first time here tonight. Colin Bowman, he's going to sit for interference. We'll get a look at the 19th-ranked power play in the Western Hockey League, thanks to Kelowna Bowman Honda. We're going to face off left of Christopher Westblom. 5.08 left to go in the first period. Kelowna's had a one-thing lead. You're tied at the blue line. He'll feed out of Bosch. Now to the right corner as they try to move it around a little bit. Tyler Anders with it now to the blue line. Bosch then for Todd. Interesting to note how the Tigers use two forwards back on D. Face off circle. Sanders Bay is shot. And a save by Westblom. He's going to hang out and they move around nicely. As the Medicine Hat Tigers try to generate something with a man advantage. Despite being ranked 19th in the Western Hockey League, it can produce and it can score in bunches in a victory over the Spokane Chiefs. They scored four power play goals. That goes to show, as Ryan Huska said, even though perhaps the Tigers not scoring with the frequency that we're used to seeing, they are dangerous and can bust out at any point. Rockets in it all the way down the ice. And here is Voss Verto with it. He'll lead by his own goal. And here's Todd with it now. And he'll try to move the other way. He'll bring it up the right side of his own goal. Gets it out of center. Here's Bosch with it. He'll try to lay back inside Rocket territory. Farmanero will give chase along with Cody Allman. Goes back from the Rocket goal. Now in the right corner. It's Ennis. Ennis goes back to the blue line. And for Bosch. Bosch at the right point. And for Ennis. Ennis trying to get away from Luke Shen. Harassed off the puck. 
Ennis will get it down low right corner, and here's Yasha Farmanera. He'll try to center for Todd. Todd can't get the puck, now gets it back again at the left point. Here's Todd, stick handling, will feed a Yasha Farmanera. Farmanera back for Todd in the corner, centered in front. Trying it here to Vay, but he just couldn't quite get enough of his stick on it. Shen will muscle it, and he'll get it all the way down the ice. Tigers look dangerous as they continue to work the puck to the front of the net. Fortunately for the Rockets, Edison Hat hasn't been able to pull the trigger yet. Puck down to center ice. They try to move it back in. It's Milan Kidner. He'll try to work to in the corner along with Hamilton. They grapple. In there for some support is Colin Joe as well as is Dunstall. Dunstall will steal. He'll go back to blue line. Here's Carlson a drive. It's blocked here by Milan Kidner. Collected by Glass. Glass now the left point. Right point Carlson. Carlson's a right hand shot. Took a drive. Blocked by Joe. Retrieved by Dunstall in the right corner. Fades up here to Hamilton behind the goal. Puck on, though, by Myers, who comes to the right and side of his own goal with 17 seconds remaining, and he'll dump it all the way down. Nice job by Tyler Myers. He used all six foot seven of his reach to win that puck and then clear it the length of the ice. Puck back inside Rocket Territory. Dunstall lost it. Goes back to blue line. Here's Carlson. He'll walk in. Tuck a drive. West Bloom stick save. Here's Dunstall center. They score. I thought West Bloom caught the puck, but it came out of his glove. West Bloom complains to no avail. Powerfully goal. The Tigers in a 1 1 tie. As for Westbloom still pleading his case with Derek Zalaski here. I thought you were absolutely right, Rick. I thought on the centering attempt, Westbloom got a handle on it, but Trevor Hansen and Zalaski think otherwise, and the Tigers have even the score. It's tied at a goal apiece, 3.09 to go here in the first period of play. And right, David, when you talked about them having the 19th, Best power play in the WHL looked very, very good in the opening sequence. Medicine Hat Tigers goal scored by number 36, Wacy Hamilton. The assist to number 20, Travis Dunstall. And number 7, Cody Carlson. Time of the goal, 16.51. Puck back in, that Rocket Territory goes back on the goal. Hickmon is in there. Hickmon being watched here by Colin Long. Long's down there. Long fluke Shen deep in the corner. Trying to get to it back on the goal, Cameron. He's squeezed down on the play by Shen. That allows Long to get to it. He'll feed out to Jamie Ben. Rockets to center. Late pass Leobold. He'll hurry back inside. Tiger territory. Ben filled and Leobold grappled deep in the corner. What do you know? Brady Leobold back out on the top line with Jamie Ben and Colin Long. Is that what the coaching staff was looking for? You gotta wonder. I would think that, yeah, he answered the question. As he gets into the tilt early in the hockey game, shows that he's in the game from a physical standpoint. And that's what he is here in a Kelowna Rocket uniform. Here's a chance. In front for Bruciano and a great feed from Colin Joe, but somehow it whistled wide. Dunstall gets it down to center. Dunstall lost it as he approached the Rocket blue line with two minutes left to go in the first. In a 1 1 hockey game, Tyler Myers in his own zone and gets it to center. Bruciano knocked off his stick. Todd trying to turn in. Can't. Groups of the puck in the neutral zone is Dane Todd. Hold it pass on right wing as the Tigers mishandled. Carlson lost it. Here's McCray. Clear cut breakaway. Shot. Oh, nice save by the goaltender. He was with him all the way. Nice save here by Voss Verda off of Miles McCray on the steal of the Tiger blue line. Voss Verda stays down low. McCray had to go high, but shot low into the pads. Good stop. Here's McCray back on the goal. McCray is still trying to center for Joe, but the puck in his skates. Here's Dylan Hood with it now. Hood stick handling far side board for Bruciano. Down low for Miles McCray, who's played with some inspiration here in the opening period of play. A minute 20 left to go in the first, and still a 1-1 score. Puck rimmed, collected here by the Tigers, and cleared back with a center ice by Yasher Farmanera. Here's McCray as he touches the puck to be called. I think he's got a gloving ahead. 1-1 is your score between the Tigers and the Rockets. I want to congratulate tonight Darren Forbes. He's been entered into the lucky goal of the game contest thanks to Miles McCray's fifth goal of the season. Darren went to am1150.ca, entered online, and he has the same opportunity that Linda Webb and James Pengilly did for October and November. James and Linda, the winners of $500 from Howarth Jewelers on Bernard. Box in the right corner. That is inside Rocket Territory. Shan lost it. Good work down low here by the Tigers. Tyler Ennis is there on the four check to the blue line. Here's a wrist shot. Blocked in front. Shen gets it back. He'll feed out to Evan. And Evan takes to center. Touch pass on right wing. Cody Ullman. Here's Ullman right corner. Inside Tiger territory. Try to center. Here for Brandon McMillan. But he couldn't get a decent backhand shot away. Goes back on the goal. Moved quickly. Out to center. Rice. And here's Tyson Dozak. Neutral zone. For Cody Ullman. He'll bring on right wing inside the line. Feeds off here to Evan. Centering feed. And a save by the goaltender. Voss Burn is going to hang on. Good passing play, though, as Evan blew it off along with. Cody Allman and Brandon McMillan trying to get the Rockets back on the board. Centering feet almost knocked in by 
Medicine and High Tiger defender got directed toward Vosperona. He ends up hanging on here with exactly 30.5 seconds to go in a 1-1 tie. Off the drop. To the right of the Tiger Gold. It's picked up here by Madison Ant. Move down to center ice. The left side with speed. That's Hickbot. He'll drill it in. Puck left corner. Here's Colin Joe. He'll feed out to Jamie Ben. Ben then for Tyler Myers. And Myers will bring the left side. Getting away from one check. Myers at center. Backhands it in. We got an offside here on Kelowna. Many players are trapped inside the zone. Ben and Lucas Ludov just to name two. Shots on goal. 11 to 5. Favorite Kelowna Rockets here in the opening period of play. I think Cologne has been the more dangerous of the two clubs here so far in tonight's contest, but certainly with a lot of hockey to go in a 1-1 game, it's far from settled. Off the draw just inside the Tiger Blue. It's won by Kelowna. Myers lifts it off the glass and gives it back inside the Tiger's zone. Cleared once again by Glass back out to the center. And time looks fire in the opening period. And so the Kelowna Rockets, Madison and Tiger is tied at one goal in a Somewhat of a bit of a feeling on process, I thought, in the early stages of the hockey game between the two teams. Yeah, a little chippy in the maybe first half of this opening period. I thought things sort of opened up a little bit. Regan, I wanted to point out, Hamilton's goal is six of the season, not a power play goal. It expired. The goal comes at 16.51. The Bowman minor expired at 16.49. So by two seconds, they missed that power play marker. But it was a dangerous power play. Sometimes I think that's where maybe the stats don't tell the entire story because for all intents and purposes, Bowman was just out of the box, not back in the play yet. So not officially a power play goal, but certainly taking advantage of the situation. But pretty good period of play. You know, Vosbroda made a couple of great stops down at uh, down at his end of the ice. West Bloom, not overly tested, didn't have to be overly sharp in the first period of play. you got to know that Medicine Hat's going to come out. I love the Tiger's speed, though. Boy, oh, boy, that is as advertised, and uh, you got to think they're going to come into this hockey game. So Kelowna needs to start finishing maybe on some of those opportunities. Right now it's a 1-1 tie between the Rockets and the Medicine Hat Tigers. And by the way, the opening period has been a presentation of BC Fasteners and Tools, the Okanagan's leading supplier to the construction and manufacturing industry. Coming up in our first intermission, we'll have the out-of-town scoreboard in the summary. But before we do that, we'll take a look back in Kelowna Rocket history. If you want to know what happened back on this date, December the 5th in Rocket history, you'll find out in just a moment. You're listening to the home of the Kelowna Rockets. It's AM 1150. Hear that? That's the sound of a LiftMaster garage door opener. The strong, silent opener that provides you with maximum performance and the ultimate in quiet operation. Plus, LiftMaster leads the industry in product innovation, offering you more options and accessories than anyone else. LiftMaster, committed to quality, performance, and reliability. Have a LiftMaster garage door opener customized and installed today. Call the garage door professionals at JP Garage Doors in Kelowna. Call 212-3660. Hi, I'm Dean. And I'm Jeff from Okanagan Dot. Hey, Kelowna. Employee pricing has made our sales volumes explode over the last two months. And that means we're loaded with lots of fresh, fully reconditioned trades and we're ready to deal. We've got over 100 pre-owned vehicles to choose from, some as low as $99 bi-weekly. Check out our deals at www.okanagandots.com. All fully inspected, they're ready to go, and we're re ready to deal. Start your shopping at www.okanagandots.com. We'll save you thousands. Come to Okanagan Dodge. Highway 97 at the new Enterprise Way. Where BC comes to save. If you're an experienced trust designer or trust builder looking to advance your career, True Trust wants to talk to you. True Trust, a well-established roof trust and floor choice manufacturer and distributor, is going to meet the demands of the marketplace. They need experienced designers and builders to join their team. It's a long-term career choice with excellent compensation and benefits for today and incredible potential for tomorrow. True Trust, 2715 Auburn Road on the west side behind Constable Neil Bruce Middle School. Apply today and grow with the best. Rockets fans, listen carefully. Bell and Orchard Park Shopping Center is in the giving spirit with some crazy offers. Like $100 off anything in the store when you subscribe to a fun bundle. Family plans with unlimited talking to each other for only $35. And with phones like HTC Touchscreen, you will be the coolest family on the block. Plus, when you subscribe to Bell Express View, you get an HD receiver free for one whole year. So hurry into Bell and Orchard Park Shopping Center. Because you never know when Scrooge will stop by. 
Now, a refreshing thought from Canadian Springs. Your body is almost 70% water, so staying hydrated is essential to almost all your body's functions. Canadian Springs chlorine-free bottled water has always been fresh and pure as nature intended. Canadian Springs is delivered right to your door in refillable and returnable 18-liter bottles and goes a long way to building a healthy home, office, and team. Call 1-877-442-PURE or visit CanadianSprings.com and sign up for delivery today. Hey, kids, listen up. This is your chance to skate with your Kelowna Rocket heroes. Before every game, the Rockets are looking for one minor hockey player to skate with them during the opening ceremonies. You get a tour of the dressing room, a picture with your favorite Rocket, I took Cody Allman, and skate out of the Ogopogo mouth before the game. If you're under 13 years old and love hockey, simply enter your name at any of the three Save on Foods locations to win. You could be the next Save on Foods Pepsi player of the game. Save on Foods, an active part of our community. Rockets Rewind for Delta FL Thermal Air Gap Barrier. Delta FL, distributed exclusively by Broadleaf Logistics. Broadleaf, our people, our strength. Hey, it's Regan Bartell with this date in Kelowna Rocket History. It is December the 5th of 2006 where the Rockets are 4 3 shootout loser to Spokane. In the hockey game, Trayson Bowman scores the game-winning goal. Well, David Schultz, Chris Ray, and Miles McCray light the lamp for Kelowna. It's December the 5th of 2004, where the Rockets are a 4-2 winner over Kamloops. Blake Como scores twice in the victory. Well, Justin Keller and Tyler Spurgeon at singles. Devin Dobnik solid, making 34 saves in the setback. It's to December the 5th of 2000, where the Most Show Warriors beat the Rockets by a 4-3 score in overtime. Sean Limpright scores the game-winning goal at the 219 mark of the extra session. Carson German scores twice for the Kelowna Rockets in the loss. It's December the 5th on this date in Kelowna Rocket history. People rely on Pusher Mitchell for sound legal advice than any other law firm in Kelowna. Established over 30 years ago, Pusher Mitchell has grown into the Okanagan's largest law firm with the people, resources, and expertise to help you with all your legal needs. Visit their office or website and see why Pusher Mitchell was selected Kelowna's Corporate Citizen of the Year. Pusher Mitchell, proud to support and be the lawyers for the Kelowna Rockets. We all take hits in life. Some we seek out. Some we don't. When you take a hit, Sun City Physiotherapy can make you feel more like yourself again. Two locations, downtown next to pharmacy and Glenmore, staffed with qualified professionals who can help with a variety of health issues, back pain, acupuncture, massage therapy, just a few of the services offered at Sun City Physio. Check out their website at suncityphysiotherapy.com. Hockey players, ask Sun City Physio how to prevent injury during the hockey season. Hi, I'm Dean. And I'm Jeff from Okanagan Dot. Hey, Kelowna. Employee pricing has made our sales volumes explode over the last two months. And that means we're loaded with lots of fresh, fully reconditioned trades and we're ready to deal. We've got over 100 pre-owned vehicles to choose from, some as low as $99 bi-weekly. Check out our deals at www.okanagandodge.com. All fully inspected, they're ready to go, and we're ready to deal. Start your shopping at www.okanagandodge.com. We'll save you thousands. Come to Okanagan Dodge. Highway 97 at the new Enterprise Way. Where BC comes to save. Discover the elegance of a Napoleon Direct Vent Gas Fireplace from your exclusive distributor, Air Ease. With features like no other fireplace. Enjoy the yellow dancing flames of wood fire with the convenience of natural gas. Clean, burning, environmentally friendly, on up in seconds, adjustable flame. Install a Napoleon Direct Vent Gas Fireplace just about anywhere, even in bedrooms. Napoleon Fireplaces are available at authorized dealers like Aspen Heating. 
762-2126. Teams come in many different forms. A bale of turtles, a knot of toads, a flight of rockets, and Total Pet. Your team at Total Pet has everything you need for those very special members of your family. A scratching post for your kindle of kittens, treats for your mood of dogs, an aquarium for your catch of fish, bedding for your warren of rabbits, and even lunch for your army of frogs. From questions to answers, from pets to pet supplies, your team at Total Pet is on your side. Join the team at Total Pet across from London Drugs on Highway 97 Kelowna. I'm looking for a job, but I don't want to be saying, Would you like fries with that? I'm looking for stability, somewhere I can make a difference, something challenging, something different. Marusa is different, and it's not what you think. Marusa is an inbound call center where customers call you to help them solve problems. Marusa is a place where you can make a difference every day. Stop looking, start working. Apply at Marusa today. 448-4050. 448-4050. This is Kelowna Rockets Hockey on News Talk Sports, AM 1150. Hey, everyone, welcome back here to Prospero Place in Kelowna. Score after 20 minutes of play. Well, it's a 1-1 tie. Kelowna Rockets, Venice and Tigers. And your scoring summary tonight brought to you by Win Rentals, serving Kelowna and area since 1975. Win Rentals definitely keeping you in the game. Well, David, as it turns out, it's been, as you said earlier during the broadcast, uh, the Rockets seem to open up the scoring. It just seems to translate into good results and usually victories at the end of the night. By no means is this game money in the bank, but the Rockets get on the board, and uh, they get on the board first. For the 20th time this season, tonight's game number 31. So for the 20th time this year, the Kelowna Rockets open the scoring. When the Kelowna Rockets do that, when they score first this year, they're 13, 3, 2, and 1. So that's a good sign. Got off to a good start. Miles McRae continues to be hot for the Kelowna Rockets. He gets his fifth goal of the season. Matt Bruciano and Jesse Paradis get the assist for Paradis. It's his second point. For Bruciano, it's his second point. The goal comes in. 13:38, and the Rockets led 1-0. Then, of course, your first goal of the game. First goal brought to you by Paragon Community Pharmacy. The same guys that have been sponsoring this from the very beginning, but now, of course, they got a brand new name. It's Paragon Community Pharmacy, bringing quality to life. Wade C. Hamilton would get his sixth goal of his rookie campaign for the Medicine Hat Tigers at the 16:51 mark of the opening period. Travis Dunstall and Carlson, Cody Carlson, get the assist on that goal. And after 40 minutes of play, we're even at a goal apiece. Your shots on goal in the opening 20 favored the Rockets by a pretty wide margin, 11-5 the total there. Your shots on goal are brought to you by Minute Tune and Break Auto Centers. They're your neighborhood auto repair store. For all your maintenance and repair needs, you can visit Mike and his team at 1984 Springfield Road. You know, David, when you brought up that one statistic, was that your Jeff Leishman statistic of the night? Uh, it, could, it could very well go down. But you know what, though? Here was my problem with, with the Jeff Leishman statistic, and I, I won't get into it again, but he doesn't like stats that, that basically uh, say on a Tuesday night when the uh, full moon is out, the Rockets are 6-0. Right. He thinks those are sort of BS stats. But you know, when you start getting halfway into a season, you start to see some trends develop. And, and I think that maybe, uh, you know, is it money in the bank? Would you, would you go bet your house on it? Maybe not. But when you're 13-3-2-1, when you score first, you're starting to get a pretty good sampling size of, of what the hockey club does when they put themselves in that position. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I, I'm so basically what I'm saying, Leishman's you know, he's not that smart. Well, I, I'm just, I wanted to point out that the tie I'm wearing tonight, Rockets are 10-0. 10-0. Really? Yeah, I'm going to wear the red tie. So. Um, they're o o o and o when, when I wear this tie. Okay, it's brand new. Nice to see you. Hey, let's go to the out-of-town scoreboard tonight. Out-of-town scores. Brought to you by Cellcom, your Rogers wireless dealer. Let's start it in the WHL. Are they really 10 and 0 when you wear that tie? Honestly. How do you know that? Well, I keep st <laughs> statistics. You have to keep the vital statistics. I don't believe you. Prince Albert, they're in Calgary tonight, and they're getting spanked after 40 minutes of play. It's 6 2 in favor of the Hitmen. They scored three in the first, three in the second. Kyle Bordas has a hat trick in that game after 40 minutes. All Hitmen. Elsewhere, Lethbridge, they have a 2 0 lead on Spokane. Braze and Boychuk in goals. I guess the, the bad news for the Kelowna Rockets, Zach Boychuk, he's going to Team Canada's camp as well, but it's not soon enough. Maybe we can get Zach Boychuk a ticket out on Friday and uh, play a trick on him. We'll, we'll wear some Hockey Canada gear in and say, Zach, we're here to take you to the airport Friday afternoon, and uh, uh, maybe that'll solve the Rockets' problem. Zach Boychuk, he's a heck of a hockey player. He scores 30 seconds into the third period, and the Spokane Chiefs are in danger of dropping another one, this time to Lethbridge. It's 2 nothing. early stages of the third period and it's a final in Moose Jaw looking forward to our trip to Moose Jaw 6-1 the Warriors 
defeat the Red Deer Rebels tonight. Fraser McLaren had a pair of goals. Naxted, Nyron, Bast, Broda had the other goals tonight, a 6-1 win. Smith, the lone goal in response for Red Deer. And after 20 minutes of play, Colton Yellowhorn has a goal for the Tri-City Americans. Clayton Bauer has a goal for the Everett Silvertips. After 20, it's a 1-1 tie at the Comcast Arena at the Everett's Event Center in Everett, Washington. Taking a look at the National Hockey League story tonight, I guess the big news of the night has to be the fact that it's Sidney Crosby's making his Western Canada debut. The first game was being played at Rexall Place in Edmonton. I prefer to call it Northlands Coliseum still, so I will. At Northlands Coliseum tonight, the Edmonton Oilers have themselves a 1-0 lead thanks to Robert Nielsen's marker, 5-39 of the first period. Sid the Kid, nothing going just yet. You gotta imagine that's gonna be a pretty exciting week for Sidney Crosby as he gets to play in Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver. Speaking of Vancouver, they're up 3-2 on the Chicago Blackhawks. That one's in the early stages. It's about halfway through the third period of play. Matthias Oland, Byron Ritchie, and Brendan Morrison have goals tonight for the Vancouver Canucks. While the Chicago Blackhawks have got goals by Marty Havlad and Martin LaPointe. 3-2, Canucks leading there. San Jose and Dallas, they're tied at two goals apiece. Daly and Medano have scored for the Stars, while Chichu and Marlowe have goals for San Jose. Phoenix has a 2-1 lead over the LA Kings. That one's about halfway through the second period of play. Steve Reinprecht and Radima Verbata have the goals for the Desert Dogs. Well, Mike Camilleri has a lone goal for the LA Kings. Buffalo and Anaheim, they're tied at a goal apiece. Yoke and Heck for Buffalo. Andy McDonald for Anaheim. Big news out of Anaheim is that Scott Niedermeyer will be returning to the Ducks lineup. That means there's a defenseman for sale, probably cheap if you need one. New Jersey, they have a 4-3 OT win tonight thanks to Patrick Eliash's goal. 316 into the extra session. Eliash also scored in regulation. Zach Frise also had a pair for New Jersey. Sedano Chara, Glenn Murray, and Dennis Weidman scoring goals for Boston. That means 66.6% .6 of Boston's goals came from former Suffrey Wolves. Atlanta, they get a 4-3 shootout win tonight over the New York Islanders. Columbus, a 5-4 winner over Colorado. Ottawa snaps their six-game losing skid with a 5-4 win over the Florida Panthers. And Philadelphia, they defeat Minnesota 3-1. That's your out-of-town scoreboard. That's your summary right here in Kelowna. It's a 1-1 tie after 20 minutes. Stand by. The second period is next. You're listening to the WHL on AM 1150. So, so, stranger, what brings you to town? Maybe I just feel hungry. Or maybe it's because any time is taco time. But before you take a guess, ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Any time is taco time. All your Mexican favorites, tacos, burritos, nachos, Mexi fries, and more. Taco time, proud to support the Kelowna Rockets. Taco time, eat in or drive through at the corner of Highway 33 and Hollywood Road in Rutland. And at Highway 97 North by Safeway. in Kelowna. By the way, the second period opening face-up brought to you tonight by Bell Mobility in the Orchard Park Shopping Center. 1-1 hockey game between these two teams. Well, we have a slight chance here. Want to say a special hello to tonight, Dave Angelic, who's with the Medicine Hat Tiger organization. Want to say a special hello to him tonight. I would imagine he's watching the game on the WHL webpage and the webcast tonight. Dave Angelic, an uh, integral part of that Medicine Hat Tiger hockey club does a great job in the marketing aspect of the team. I don't know if his portfolio has changed whatsoever. I mean, nowadays, your directors of marketing have very long, long titles. But a special hello to Dave, who may be listening or watching. In Medicine Hat tonight, Hawk back in, set Rocket Territory. We're underway. Here's Joe Biden's own goal for Myers. He'll spray it against the far side board for Evan, knocked away. Good job by Glass to pinch. 
He tries to keep it in. Puck actually on the dasher board. I think it's sitting up there. And Glass looks at one of the linesmen and says, blow this one down. And so we got a whistle to draw to the right of West Bloom. While we're in the wishing mood, I would like to wish my niece back in Sudbury, Ontario, a happy 13th birthday. Now, I don't know where she is tonight. I'm sure she's probably out on a date, which will make my brother really happy. <laughs> Just kidding, Paul. <laughs> I remember when Blair was born, just a, a little baby. Paul said, as soon as she turns 13, we're moving out in the middle of nowhere and building a really big wall. I don't know if that's going to happen now that she's actually 13, but I thought I'd remind him. Well, yeah, happy birthday. Wishes going out here. And, yeah, that's a long distance birthday request. Birthday call as a draw will come outside the Tiger blue line as the puck jumped into the rocket bench. As of the faceoff, they're going to take it right at center ice. It really is the neat thing about being a broadcaster is you can save so many long-distance bills just by, by wishing all of your, your sort of well wishes over the air. Sure. Whether my parents are in Florida, whether it's my family back in Sudbury, they never have to make phone calls. This is great. But I will advise you, though, with your girlfriend, you know, like a happy birthday, or let's say it turns into an anniversary, do not. Do not go about it that way. All right. It's, just, it's not a good thing. It's just not personal enough. I've tried that myself. I got into deep trouble. <laughs> Here's the chance of the Rockets to turn back out of center. Here's Ben on left wing. Ben inside the zone. Can't get a shot away. Pushed off and then sends it to the goal mouth. Knocked away by Hamilton. Hamilton in the corner. He'll just snap it off the right board. Barry can't keep it in. The puck back to center. And just didn't have the horses to pull away. It looked like he might have been clear gone, but there's a little more of that medicine at speed. Here's Long on left wing. Long inside Tiger territory. Blue line. Barry will send to the corner for Long. Then for Ben. Here's Ben. Now back for Colin Long. Good work down Logan's the near board here by the Tigers. Hamilton trying to stab at it. Long as the puck high slot. He'll try to get it aside for Lucas. He couldn't get to it. He has it down the right corner. Lucas will get it back on the goal for Long. Long lost it. Now Jamie Ben's on the four check. Ben trying to feed off here to Lucas. He'll try to now knock it here to Long. But it's knocked away. Cameron will try to clear himself from Hamilton. Hamilton can't vacate. And now the Tigers clear back to center. Here's Dennis on the right wing. Ennis inside. Rocket territory. A rising driver with the top one wide. Ricochet up to the glass. It comes all the way back towards the Tiger blue line and beyond. The netminder has to make a stick save. Boss Verde. And it goes back on the Medicine Tiger goal. Cosrick comes to the left side of his own net. Pass to center, left side, trying to move in here. Colton Grant. Grant a wrist shot. It went wide to the target. Early stages here, period number two. In a 1-1 hockey game, by the rocket goal, it's Bowman. Bowman trying to get away from Grant. Grant throws body. Remains loose. Grant will get to it. Grant back on the goal. Grant in the right corner. He's out here with Cameron. Cameron has it now against the nail board. He'll send back behind the rocket goal. And here's Dozak. He'll spread against the right board for Leobold. Leobold can't clear Kenny. He will. He'll dump it back out of the neutral zone. Cameron at center. He'll dump it back into the rocket territory. Goes by the goal. West Bloom. He'll just leave it for Dozak. Dozak comes to the right side. He'll feed him on the land. Kinder. And he'll just rip it back towards the Tiger Blue. Here's Glass with it now. Glass through center. Knocked down to the play by Kinder. Turn back in, though, by the Tigers, but winning the puck here is Leobold. Leobold trying to move it to center, can't vacate the zone. Hickmon's there to the blue line. Here's a wrist shot, Benfeld. It went wider at the side of the Rocket goal. Hickmon has it on the right corner. Hit upon here by Colin Joe, who stumbled and fell. Tries to move it against the nearby for Perrinus. Perrinus can clear. Remains in the right corner now for Colin Joe. Joe got away from one check, got away from another. Joe now to center. Lead pass on left wing. Here's Leobold inside the zone. Nice move, walks in. have taken a 2-1 lead. Maybe he's a skill guy after all. Brady Leovold showing why the Kelowna Rockets got him out of swift current. Fantastic move. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender and Brady Leovold rips it upstairs for his fifth goal of the season. Rockets regain the lead. It's 2-1. Kelowna Rockets goal. His fifth of the season. Scored by number 25, Brady Leovold. The assist to number seven, Colin Joe. Time of the goal, 3.15. And the puck back inside Tiger territory. Right corner, it's Cody Allman with it now with Brandon McMillan and Evan Bludoff. Here's McMillan in the right corner. 
McMillan stops. He'll try to center it here for Cody. It's knocked away. It remains loose now against the new board. Cody's going to hop on it again. He'll feed here to Evan. Evan now to the corner for Brandon McMillan. Knocked away by Glass. Glass will take back what is on goal. Snaps it off the window and gets it all the way down. The Icers farm an era. And his high horse will get to in the left corner. Into Rocket territory. Trying to work away from Joe. Trying to center. Knocked away by Myers. Cody Allman trying to pick it up. He'll feed to Evan. Stoppage of play. They're going to call it on a... Is it a gloving ahead? What's the call here? Is the stoppage of play occurred in the neutral zone? Or is it a penalty here to the Rockets? Go where the Rockets go. Too many men for the Kelowna Rockets. I believe that's going to be the call here as Derek Zlaski went to the penalty box and had a big six. Jesse Paradis is going to come over and serve this. Bench minor penalty to the corner rocket. So Medicine had it look good with their first opportunity. Converted it just two seconds after Colin Bowman's minor penalty expired. Go back to the power play brought to you by Kelowna Volvo Hyundai as they look to draw even. Get off the swing face off to the right of West Bloom. The Rockets and Lucas Bludoff sprays it all the way down the ice. That's some good old fashioned hard work by Lucas Bludoff. He had a man all over him but still found a way to get it the length of the ice. That's always the key on your penalty kill unit. Just get it down there any means possible. We've almost hit the five minute mark here. Period number two. It's the Rockets with the two and lead. The Tigers though in the power play. Here's Carlson right point inside the Rockets zone. Near side for Ennis. Ennis will stick handle. Ennis looking, waiting, hesitating. Now skate to the right point. Go rich out through traffic. Westbloom got out a piece, goes over the top, and goes back on the goal. Here's Hamilton down the left corner. Hamilton will stick handle against the left side board. He'll just get into the corner. Now to the blue line. As they move it around Glass with Glass trying to get away from Evan or make that Lucas blew it off. But Glass is pass and Aaron's one. And Carlson's got to chase it at center. Carlson will feed it on left wing for Ring Rose. Ringrose had it in the corner, dumps it back on the goal, and Tyson Dozak there trying to clear can, kept in Carlson blue line, and he'll feed now to Dean Todd. Todd for Carlson, Carlson will feed off here to Ennis, Ennis with it now, Ennis getting away from Tyson Dozak, Ennis he'll try to get to the faceoff circle, lost the handle in the puck, Dozak's there, and he'll dump it all the way down. Dozak missed an earlier opportunity to get at the length of the ice, this time no mistake, with 40 seconds to go on the Tiger power play, Rockets regroup. Hawk now to center ice. Here's Ennis with it on right wing. He'll lay it back inside Rocket territory. Westbloom, the netminder, misplayed the puck. Myers is there. He'll just drive it off the glass and he'll get it all the way down. Rockets sitting out. Cody Allman up front, along with Miles McCray, Colin Joe, and Tyler Myers at the blue line. 22 seconds left in a Tiger power play. Todd at center. Pass on left wing. Bosch. Bosch got away from Myers. Trying to go wider on McCray. Bosch will take back by the goal. McCray, though, does a good job to take body on Bosch. Remains in the right corner. Ennis. Now for Yasho the Farmanera. Farmanera near side board. Feeds off here to Ennis. Ennis with it. Touch pass for Bosch. Puck far board with only three seconds in a power play. Given up. And now Myers will take the center. Late pass for Cody Alma. Now for Paradis. He'll turn in. Paradis back for Cody. Shot. And a save by the netminder. Good save here. Voss Berta off of Cody Allman. And a pretty nice passing play here as Paradis came out of the box. Paradis elected to give it up. Cody Allman couldn't finish it, though the Rockets basically had a 3 on 0 after the penalty expired. And Paradis, being the rookie, thought he'd give it to the veteran and let him finish it off. Didn't want to look selfish there. He'd have probably gone on his lonesome trying to get that goal. Here's Allman with it in a steal inside Tiger territory. Allman in the right corner, trying to center here, but Dozak knocked away. And now the Tigers move back to center. Hickmon with it. Hickmon skates in on left wing. Long range wrist shot. Hit the leg of Allman went wide. Dozak in the right corner. Absorbs a check here from Cameron, and the Rockets clear and get it all the way down. And this will go for icing. We've hit the seven minute mark of the second, and if it's 2 1 Kelowna, this is the WHL on AM 1150. Coach, you're falling behind. What's your plan? 110%. Uh -huh. Break to the buzzer. Right. Play our position. Right. Break to the last game. Okay. Stick to the game plan. Coach, we've heard all that before. It's this old computer system. Can't update anything. You need some real pros. You need computer resource. Computer resource. Kelowna's largest, most complete selection of computers and the pro staff to help you find exactly what you need. Computer resource. 1980 Cooper Road in Orchard Plaza 2. But we don't have a big budget. No problem. Just see computer resource. And welcome back here to Prospero Place in Kelowna. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. If you're listening on AM 1150 or the World Wide Web, the Internet, or for that matter, you may be watching on the webcast tonight. Yeah, I want to say a special hello to all our Medicine Hat listeners. Good game here tonight by your hockey club. They trail the Kelowna Rockets by a score of 2-1. to 14-7, the shots on goal, favoring Kelowna at this point in the contest. You know, there's been a lot of talk in Medicine Hat about getting a brand new arena there, but I'll tell you, the old Medicine Hat arena, you got to love it. 
The atmosphere in there is just great, outstanding. Of course, you've got sellout after sellout. Over 100 straight sellouts at the Medicine Ant Arena. I mean, the number just continues to go on and on and on. Yeah, it's really fantastic. Some of the best junior hockey fans in all of Canada. See, that's why I think, you know, I mean, I don't want to keep bringing Sudbury up again, but I think they had the best of all, both worlds. 1954 is when the Sudbury Arena was built, but they put in some luxury suites, put in some brand new suite, uh, brand new seats, concessions, bathrooms. It kind of has that old school feel to it. Wooden rafters and all the rest of it, but obviously a lot of the new amenities that you need to survive fiscally in the CHL these days. We get an amazing call here on the Medicine Hat Tigers. They said over 100 sellouts, how about 211 consecutive sellouts? 211. Pretty impressive. Yeah, really is. You know, it's, uh, I mean, it's sort of a, a story we're accustomed to here in Kelowna. Of course, the sellout streak extended again here tonight, 6,079. And I think over 6,008, or 6,007, I guess, is considered a complete sellout here in Kelowna. So the Tigers, oddly enough, they're calling a timeout here. Willie Desjardins must see something out of his hockey club that he just doesn't like at this point in the contest. Sort of an odd time in a 2-1 hockey game to see a timeout called. But as a coach, there's something that you don't like. You might as well address it as soon as you can. Yeah, Willie Desjardins has done a real good job with that hockey club, with that Medicine and Tiger franchise. There was some stability, earned stability with the hockey club for a couple of years, maybe more than just a couple of years from a Tiger standpoint before Willie Desjardins came on the scene, coach after coach after coach. But really, since he's held the helm, boy, that Tiger franchise has turned around in a big way. Well, and I think that's why maybe there was so much fear this past summer in Medicine Hat that Willie Desjardins may leave and turn to the pro ranks, apparently rumored for a job in the excuse me, American Hockey League, but at the end of the day, Willie DeJarney decided to stay in Medicine Hat, and the Tigers are just that much better for it. Here's Matt Bruciano. He'll try to take back from the Tiger goal. He lost it here to Glass. Glass will try to avoid Bruciano, who now pins him against the end board. Pac won against the near side wall, and the Tigers move back to center. It's Cameron with it now. Cameron, a lead pass on right wing. Grant will get away from Joe. Grant walks in and shot. Saved by West Blum. He's going to hang on. Poking and prodding right in front of the net miner. Maybe a scrap here. No lines would quickly jump in and separate. But the Medicine Hat Tigers went hard of the goal. Ring Rose is in there looking for a rebound. I don't know if he touched the goaltender after Westville made the save, but the Rockets took exception to that. Well, it was the team goon, Milan Kittner, in there. <laughs> Policing the crease for the Kelowna Rockets. Milan Kittner, of course, electing on Friday night to dance with Ryan Bender of the Camos Blazers. Kittner certainly got the worst of that deal. He perhaps bit off a little more than he can chew, but Jeff Thorburn, the trainer of the Kelowna Rocket, said you gotta love a greasy hero. You gotta love a guy who just steps in there and stands up for himself, and that was certainly a result of Kittner standing up for himself, and in this case, he jumps in and stands up for his goaltender, Christopher Westbrook. Here's Dunstall back behind the Rocket goal, trying to swoop away here from Tyson Berry. 11-22 left to go in the second. Rockets with a 2-1 lead on a lead goal from Brady Leovold. One of beauty here in the second period. Pock in the right corner, Farmanera. He'll dish it back on the Rocket goal. Shen, outlet pass right side. Evan, Evan can clear. Camp 10, here's Dunstall. Dunstall down low. Farmanera tries to work to the front of the goal, takes back behind the net, trying to center. Knocked away by defensive Shen. Here's Farmanera again trying to center, but Evan blew it off there. And Evan will move back out of the neutral zone. He'll drive it back towards the Tiger blue line and then straight back. Out to center ice. Moving with it. Now is Dunstall. Dunstall on left wing. Dunstall trying to feed a Farmanera, but it is past an airs one. Goes right towards the net minor West Bloom, and he'll knock it back out to center ice. And here's Evan on left wing. Evan inside medicine at Tiger territory. Took a wrist shot. Hit a leg. Then a Conan goes back behind the Tiger goal. And then getting to a sour, he'll come on the left side of his own goal. And he'll just gun it back out of center. Bowman drives it back inside Tiger territory. But Ed Miner plays it to the left side board. Bays in there, lost it to Hood. Remains in the corner. Tower can clear. Kept in by Bowman. He took a wrist shot and went wide. Left point Dozak. Dozak then for Dylan Hood. Hood with it now. Hood lost it here to Hickmont. And Hickmont turns back out of the neutral zone. Hickmont trying to get it on right wing. Laid back inside Rocket territory. Bowman in the right corner. Absorbs it. Check McCray's there. Can't clear. Sauer kept it in. Long range drive. Blocker save. Westblum gathered up by Dylan Hood against the right side board. And he will gun it back out of the neutral zone. Dozak's going to try to hop on it. He lost the handle. And now it's turned back in. On left wing trying to move inside the line. Now Bahar had some problems with it. Now McCrane's in there. McCrane, vague grapple. Dozak's in there as well, pushing at it. And now here's Bowman. He'll take back behind the Clone Rocket goal. Comes at the left side. 
Bowman out through center. Turn to feed him McCray. McCray mishandled. Gets it back again. He'll feed out to Jamie Bay. He'll bring on left wing inside the zone. Quick shot. And a save by the goaltender. As Voss Verda will hang on for a stoppage of play. We've got a timeout on the ice. We'll do the same. With 9.38 left to go in the second. It's 2-1 Kelowna. This is the WHL on AM 1150. To be a winning team, you need good coaching. That doesn't just apply to hockey players. Home buyers need a good coach, too, like the Mortgage Center Approved Mortgages. Attend one of their free home buyer workshops. The Mortgage Center Approved Mortgages will show you how to avoid home buying mistakes that could cost you thousands of dollars. And they'll help you find the best rates for your new mortgage. Be coached by one of the best. Call 861-8758 to register. From Neil Mortgage Man McJanet at the Mortgage Center Approved Mortgages. New homes, new business, major renovations. The Okanagan is enjoying a construction boom. With construction comes waste. BFI Canada is one of Canada's largest full-service waste management companies. They save you trips to the landfill by providing on-site collection of demolition materials and recycling services for cardboard and drywall. Contact BFI Canada in the yellow pages under your garbage. The phones are answered by people who live in the Okanagan and know the city. BFI Canada. Don't waste another minute. Face off to the right to the netminder, Thomas Vosverda. Get off the face off is one here by the Tigers, picked up by Glass Hill, Remit. And as Candy Clear, no, he can't. Kept in by Shannon, far side Lucas, right corner, Jamie Ben. Ben trying to swoop away from Bosch. Ben protects the puck with his body. He fed to Lucas. He lost it. Ben Feld's in there. Ben Feld over skates the puck. No calling long there. Pocket the side of the net. And I think it's actually caught in the netting to the left of the Tiger Bowl. In-game update tonight's brought to you by Mid-Valley Sheet Metal. You can visit them online at midvalley.ca. So they've been proudly serving BC since 1994. They're just joining us here. This is a pretty good hockey game here tonight. The Kelowna Rockets hanging on to a 2-1 lead. Some good speed by the Tigers. Obviously very evident in tonight's game as they do that oh so well. Kelowna Rockets... 0 for 2 with the, excuse me, 0 for 1 with the man advantage. Medicine Hat 0 for 2. Highlight real goal by Brady Leovold. Was preceded by a pretty good fight by Brady Leovold as well. He's having a big night for the Rockets. He gets an assist here tonight. He's got the Gordie Howe hat trick. As the puck goes back towards the Tiger blue line. Just under nine minutes left to go here in period number two. Puck to center. Here's Grant on left wing. Grant is at Rocket territory. A drive. West Bloom blockers save. West Bloom then plays it back. What is on goal? It comes against the near side. Butters Cameron. A drive that went wide. Grant in a race for it here with Lucas Bludoff. Now picked up here. Sharp angle drive and West Bloom the save. Off a drive from Conan. And the Rockets clear. Yeah, they'll get it to center ice. Jamie Ben. They lost it here to Yasha Parmanera who brings it back in. And it's going to be called on a offside. Lucky goal of the game contest this year. Proudly brought to you by Howarth Jewelers on Bernard Avenue. Tonight we want to congratulate Darren Forbes who thanks to Miles McRae's fifth goal of the season has now entered. Darren went online to am1150.ca and filled out the online entry form. If you'd like to join Linda Webb, James Pengilly is our two winners this season of a $500 GC from Howarth. All you have to do is the same. We'll make our next draw at the end of December. Puck back inside Tiger Territory. Farm and Aaron Kittner grappled. Dunstall's in there as well. Kempt in blue line. Joe would drive and a blocker saved by Voss Verda. The main's loose in the corner. And here's Matt Bruciano. Matt Bruciano injected into the Rocket lineup here tonight, playing in his seventh game of the year. Missed the first, what, 23-24 with a concussion. Here's Dunstall on left wing inside Rocket Territory. Sharp angle drive. Kick side by West Bloom. Gathered up by the Bruciano. He'll head man out of center. Brady Leobold's away. Here's Leobold on right wing trying to go away and wide on Conan. Puts in the brakes as Leobold trying to send in the goal mouth. Hit a shin pad and goes back out to the neutral zone. And Joe's going to lay it back inside Tiger Territory. Rockets make it to change or two. Here's Conan with the puck in his own end. Cross his feed. Left side center for Todd. He's bumped off of the puck here by Evan. And picked up by Cody Allman. He'll send to the left corner. As inside Medicine at Tiger Territory. Tigers quickly move into the neutral zone. But Dozak there. He'll feed to Evan. Evan tries to turn in. Got away from Conan. Here's Evan Bludoff. Goes back towards the blue line. Bowman keeps it in right point. Bowman feeds off here to Dozak. Dozak left point. Took a drive. Saved by the goaltender. Rebound there. Another chance. Good save by the goaltender. As Voss Verna got the left hand down as Cody Allman tried to knife it over him. Cody Allman looking for a rebound. He went to the goal and got his nose a little dirty there. That's what the Colorado Rockets need out of Cody Allman. The Rockets come close to making a 3-1, if not for a couple of nice saves by Tomas Voss Verna. 
Rockets with 7.03 to go here in the second period of play have themselves a 2-1 lead. Yesha Fermanera drives the puck over the glass and out of play, so draw to the right of the Tiger goal. Yesha Fermanera, what an acquisition he was for the Venice Man Tigers because he didn't cost the Tigers a, a thing. That's right, sort of lost in the overage shuffle with Lethbridge. Medicine Hat picks him up and proceeded to score 13 goals this year for the Medicine Hat Tigers. I always liked Yasher Farmer, even though he's a member of the Seattle Thunderbirds, and I thought he was a, a real good two-way player. He's never going to hurt you out on the ice, and certainly in this is overage season. And you have to think he's pretty excited to be back here in B.C. He's a Vancouver native, and he'll get his chance to play at Pacific Coliseum with the Tigers later on this week as they vacate the Medicine Hat Arena for seven games in two weeks. A curling event taking place at the arena in Medicine Hat, and that's why an extended road trip was necessary for the Tigers. Shot from Barry, the blue line of the ensuing piece out to the right of the Tiger goal. And a save once again by Voss Verda. Off the draw, one by Kelowna again. Long wins the draw. Barry, the drive, it went wide. Goes back foot on the goal. Glass will try to come on the left side. Can't get away from Lucas Bludoff. It's moved, though, by the Tigers. Back out to center ice, and here's a two-on-one situation now. Tyler Anderson left wing inside the zone of the trailer. Bosch is shot and he'll score. Westbloom got a piece. Not enough, though, as Bosch beat the net minor, and it's a 2-2 tie. Breakdown at the Medicine Hat. Blue line results in a three-on-one. And Brennan Bosch, who played in the ADT Challenge for the Western Hockey League last week, nets his fourth goal of the season. Bosch, four goals now and 20 assists on the season. He was the trailer in the scenario they went back up top as you said West Bloom got a piece not enough though back in the nest we're tied at two with 640 to go Rockets will send out Cody Allman with Brandon McMillan and also Evan Bludoff now the bump up shift if you will from a Rocket standpoint but a good game here tonight back and forth between these two teams assisted by number 22 Tyler Ennis time of the goal 13 20 Medicine had goal scored by number nine, Brennan Bosch, assisted by number 22, Tyler Ennis, at 13-20. Puck back into Tiger territory. Here's a drive from Ullman and a nice save by Voss Verda. And now the Tigers turn back to Sarah Cameron on right wing. Will gain on the red line and diagonal clear into the corner. Picked up and moved right towards the goal mouth. West Bloom trying to gather that one in on a bouncing puck. Rockets now clear to center. Here's Evan on left wing. Evan inside Tiger territory. A wrist shot. Fan on the attempt. Goes back on the Tiger goal. And Sauer had a pocket pick by Cody Allman. Now Brandon McMillan has it now. McMillan back on the goal. He's in the back end. Goes back to the blue line for Joe. Joe now down low over Cody Allman. Allman has it back on the goal. Cody Allman just leaves it there for Evan. Evan lost the puck here to Carlson. Carlson trying to rim the puck. He can't clear. McMillan behind the goal for Cody Allman. Allman trying to swoop away from Sauer. Allman now has it in the right corner. Cody Allman trying to go back to the blue line for Dozak. Intercepted. And the Tigers now back to center. Dunstall lays it back into the rocket zone. Bowman's there. He'll beat out of Brandon McMillan. And McMillan clear. No, he can't. Good work here for the Tigers down low. Farmanera. He'll get it out of the right corner. Here, Dunstall. Dunstall in a puck battle here with Bowman. Bowman gets it here to Brandon McMillan. McMillan now to center left side. He'll lay it back inside Tiger territory. Here's Dylan Hood. Hood trying to sidestep Conan. Can't. Goes back on the Tiger goal. Hopping out of now. Brady Lee of do some energy with McCray and Hood out here now. Here's Hood on the right corner. Lost it. It moves against the near board for Miles McCray. McCray trying to get into the corner for Dylan Hood. Hood can't get free from a check. Tigers can they clear? No, Farman Eric can't. Here's Hood high slot, wrist shot wide. Here's Leibel trying to center in front, knocked away. Blue line, Shannon is shot. It deflected wide. Here's Hood now against the near board. Dylan Hood trying to establish inside Tiger territory. Push up the puck. Tigers will clear and pump it back out to center ice. Fans wanted a penalty. Here's Shannon center gains the red line. He's going to dump it back in. Travis Dunstall pushing Dylan Hood down from behind. No call in open ice, though. Good job by the Kelowna Rockets. More good opportunities. They've looked good since the Tigers have drawn even. Puck now at the Rocket Blue line. Collected it here by Lucas Bludoff, and he'll try to move forward. Here's Lucas on left wing. Feature to Bray Leobold. Leobold inside the attacking zone. Back behind the goal for Lucas. Lucas down the right corner. Hands it on the forehand. Lucas Bludoff trying to establish inside Tiger territory. Skates back to the right point. He'll be out of Joe. Joe a drive deflected. Collected against the side of the goal. And he'll move by the Tigers' bay back into the neutral zone. Pass on left wing too far for his man. Race for it back in the left corner. Inside Rocket territory. Joe for Ben. Ben back on his own goal. It comes to the left side is Jamie Ben. And Ben now skates to center. He's got Lucas and Long with him. Here's Ben on the right wing trying to go wide and glass with Cat. They bang bodies in the corner. No calling on Long's in there with 3.45 left to go here in period number two in a 2-2 hockey game from Prospero Place. 
Remains in the right corner, Jamie Benn. Ben trying to go back to Myers, intercepted by Ennis. And Ennis moves back to center of speed. He's got Hickman with him. Here's Ennis getting inside the zone. Can't pull the trigger. Then did and he scores from a sharp angle. Looked like he wanted to center. It somehow evades an Edmonton West Bloom, and the Tigers have their first lead of tonight's game. As Ennis goes to center, it goes through the crease, catches the post, and goes in. It appeared to be an attempted centering pass, but... Tyler Innes will take it. There's absolutely no doubt about that. For Innes, he's got peril points on the night. He's now got 38 points on the season. 19 goals, 19 assists. Back-to-back -back goals by the Tigers. And with 3.31 to go here in the second period, they have their first lead at tonight's game. It's 3-2. Medicine had Tigers goal. Scored by number 22, Tyler Ennis. Unassisted. Time of the goal, 16-29. Medicine Hat goal scored by number 22, Tyler Ennis, unassisted at 16-29. Puck down to center ice, it's Barry. Barry mishandled to Cameron, now picked up by Milan Kidner. He'll try to turn in for Bruciano. Bruciano has some problems with it, now Cameron will turn back to center. Cameron on right wing will gain the red line, and he's going to dump it back in. Behind the goal, of Shen. Shen with it now. Out on pass on left wing, Matt Bruciano. Bruciano through center, trying to lay it back with the Tiger blue line, and does. Sauer is there. He'll feed on right wing Cameron. He'll punch it back into the right corner. Here's Hamilton. He'll hop on it. Absorbs a check from Shen. Goes back by the rocket goal. Comes at the right side for Tyson Barry. And Barry now will look for a lane. Barry through center. Pass on left wing Leovold. Leovold mishandled the puck. Now picked up here. Kinner does a good job to take body on Tyler Ennis. Puck sitting loose. And here's Hamilton. He'll move on left wing. Here's Hamilton inside the rocket zone. Fended away by Barry. Barry's hooked in the play. A penalty coming up here to the Tigers. Rockets. McMillan gets it a center. Then touched by Glass. Is it a hooky minor penalty? No, it's a trip. It's going to the Tigers, so the Rockets back to the power play. Rockets just an advantage here. Credit a very disciplined Medicine Hat Tiger team here at tonight's contest. Power play brought to you by Kelowna, Volvo, Hyundai. Visit them at 1210 Leafhead Road. Test drive of the new Volvo C30. Perhaps the Hyundai Veracruz all today at Kelowna, Volvo, Hyundai. Wacey Hamilton to the box here with 225 to go in the second period of play. Good opportunity here for the Kona Rockets with their second man advantage. See if they can't draw even before the end of the period. And Tyler Myers is out there with Brandon McMillan, Colin Long, Jamie Benn, and also Lucas Bludoff. And here comes McGillan back on his own goal. He'll come on the right side. Down and pass on the center for Tyler Myers. He was handcuffed by Benfeld. Falling up those McMillan. He'll knock it back into the Tiger territory. Rockets head of the Cape of Zona. They would have been called on the offside. Glass in the pocket. He'll rip it back out of the neutral zone. Here's Todd with it now trying to lay it back into the Rocket territory. Negated by Myers. And Todd gives another try. He'll lay it back to left corner inside Kelowna Country. Tyler Myers, bought his own goal, will come with the left side. An outlet pass for Brandon McMillan. McMillan at center, left side, trying to lay it inside Tiger territory, negated and cleared all the way down the ice. Can't get the puck in deep and win a battle. Your power play is going to struggle. That's what we see right now from the Kelowna Rockets. Credit Medicine Hat, standing them up inside the neutral zone, not allowing penetration. Here comes Brandon McMillan on right wing inside Tiger territory, takes it to the right corner, sends back by the goal. Here's Colin Long with it now. Long to the blue line for Shen. Shen will fire through traffic and a save by the goal. And a rebound for Ben, but he can't quite get a shot towards the net. It was blocked in front by the Tigers. Ben, another chance, a wrist shot. That's blocked as well. Pocket the side of the goal. The Tigers will win it. And they'll dump it at least back out to center ice. Luke Shen, rocket blue line. He'll head man. And now here goes Barry. He'll turn in. Here's Barry on left wing. Got away from a check here. Takes back by the goal with Barry. Wow. Barry will stand to the corner. Hopping out of Cody Allman who stumbles and falls. Puck goes back towards the blue line. Ben kept it in. Ben right point now for Barry. Barry the drive blocked. Ben gets it back. Ben at the blue line. He'll take a driver. Willie. Now he'll fire his shot over the top wide. Puck near board for Barry. Barry will gun it back behind the goal. Milan Kidner in a puck battle behind the net. Good work here by the Tigers defenseman Conan. Conan in a puck battle here with Cody Ullman. Ullman with it now. Ullman the face-off circle. Trying to get it in front. Puck sitting loose. Conan takes a stab at it. Cody Ullman's there in the right corner. Cody Ullman has it against the right sideboard. Cody Ullman took a wrist shot. It went wide. Comes out in front. Barry trying to direct it towards the goal. The power plays over. Hamilton's out of the box. Tigers can clear. Hamilton did he? No, it didn't. Barry kept it in. He'll send back on the Tiger goal. Brady Leobold hit upon here by... Kozra, good contact there by the Tiger defenseman. Leobold still has a puck though in the corner. He'll try to knife it down to the right corner, and the fans applaud his efforts here in the latter stages of the period as time will expire. And the Medicine Tigers have a 3-2 lead, and that's after 40 minutes of play. Nice job 
by the Cologne Rockets on that man advantage, trying to build perhaps a little bit of momentum. Maybe good news for the Medicine Hat Tigers that the second period comes to an end as I thought the Rockets were really buoyed in their efforts towards the end of that period coming off of the power play. Some nice momentum. But credit Medicine Hat, they get the job done on the scoreboard where it counts. Despite falling behind by a score of 2-1, to one, they battle back two unanswered goals by Bosch and Ennis. Boy, when those two guys are going for the Medicine Hat Tigers, usually they're going, and that's the story here tonight. Through 40, they have a 3-2 lead. All right, those goals coming basically about three minutes apart in the second period. As the Rockets have some work ahead of them, heading into period number three. By the way, the second period is a presentation of BC Fasters and Tools, the Okanagan's leading supplier to the construction and manufacturing industry. Coming up in our second intermission, we'll have the out-of-town scoreboard and summary, but before we do that, another installment of the Parent Perspective. You're listening to Major Junior Hockey on an AM 1150. Oh, he's coming up the ice. Looks like he's on the defensive. Oh, it's no wonder. He didn't wait until Saturday to buy his car at Auction World. He didn't go to the Auction World and paid way more than he should have. Oh, what's this? He's taking off the gloves. He's fighting back against high prices. Look at that. He switched teams. He's now with Team Auction World. Save thousands on your next vehicle purchase every Saturday at 11 a.m. Auction World, Highway 97 North at Reed's Corner. Rise and run. Rise and run. That's not just a prescription for daily exercise. It's your prescription for quality manufactured stairs, railings, and more. Rise and Run Manufacturing, Kelowna's award-winning stair builder, also produces molding and trim to accent any taste, plus the items that set off your sense of style in your home. The prescription for a perfect staircase is Rise and Run. Call 765-1601. That's 765-1601. Wish and Win is back at Saturn of Kelowna, and the prizes are bigger and better. Last year, they gave away two brand new vehicles, an Outlook and an Aura, plus thousands of other prizes. Everyone who plays is a winner. Saturn also has a complete new lineup of award-winning vehicles. Best-in-class fuel economy, European designs, and award-winning safety are just some of the features you'll find in this new generation of vehicles. Plus, ask about interest rates as low as 0% and pay only 5% GST right now. Saturn of Kelowna, like always, like never before, on Highway 97. When your application demands performance in those cold winters and warm summers, there's only one name that should come to mind. Lumberlock All-Weather Subfloor Adhesive. Visit your local building supply dealer today and find out how Lumberlock Adhesive can help prevent a squeaky floor. Lumberlock All-Weather Subfloor Adhesive, distributed exclusively by Broadleaf Logistics. As they like to say, Broadleaf, our people, our strength. You can't limit performance. The Kelowna Rockets push the red line every game. They score with just seconds remaining. From hockey to golf, Redline Sports Center can take athletes of any age level to the top of their sport. They offer elite hockey training and one-on-one -on -one instruction. Improve your skating on the world's largest and fastest skating treadmill. Sharpen your skills on their mini rink. Train above and beyond your Redline. Visit Redline Sports Center today on Spedding Court or online at redlinesportscenter.com. Win Rentals is a real powerhouse again this year with all-star equipment for contractors, home, and industry. Do you know it's the veterans behind the counter that make a difference? They'll help you with genie lift equipment, healthy fastening systems, and Wacker construction equipment. Win Rentals' other proven performers include Ingersoll Rand Ride-On Rollers, Bobcat Loaders, and Mini Excavators. Also, during this cold time of the year, they offer construction heaters. Win Rentals on McCurdy Road. Renting is the smart way to get things done. Talking Hockey for Rise and Run, Kelowna's award-winning stair builder. Designing, building, or renovating your home? Go to the top of the stairs. Rise and Run, 765-1601. It's the parents' perspective with the mother of Kelowna Rocket team captain, James McEwen. Brandon McEwen was asked, considering James always finds himself in trouble on the ice, as a child, was he the same way? As a child, James was definitely uh, a challenge, uh, but a good challenge. Yeah, he was an awesome challenge. He um, definitely has his own way of thinking, and he definitely has, when he gets uh, his mind set, it is set. And there's no change in his mind. But Brenda says James wasn't always that keen on playing the game of hockey. 
No, I would say James's middle brother gravitated more to hockey than James did. But once James got onto it, um, he was about four years old, and uh, he started to get into hockey, and uh, and then he um, uh, he enjoyed it to some degree, and tried a few times to get off the ice, you know, and and tried to take the easy route. But I just sent him back out there, and then he took. Then that was it. He wanted to make the NHL. He was going the whole way. And he has said that since he's been about seven or eight years old. Born in Terrace, B.C., the McEwans became familiar with the Okanagan thanks to the game of hockey. James started to come to Kelowna at a very, very young age. We started to do uh, the hockey program with David Roy here when James was about eight or nine years old. And uh, every summer we packed our bourbon up and with his two younger brothers, Joey and Josh, and off we went to... Vernon and Kelowna for hockey school. And Brenda also remembers the day that James was listed by the WHL Seattle Thunderbirds. Absolutely. Um, actually, I was working in my hair shop and the Seattle Scout walked in and asked me how tall I was. <laughs> and I looked at him and I'm like, uh, who are you? And he said, I'm the scout from Seattle and I'm scouting your son, James McEwen. And he wanted to know a little back check on the family history and Seattle protected him. And then he came home and said he's moving to the state. But in the summer of 2006, Brenda was left in the dark when James looked at the option of joining the Kelowna Rockets. Uh, he didn't even really tell me. He had other couple of other options. I knew Kelowna was one. And uh, he had a meeting with Jeff Truitt at that time. And, I, you know, it was, um, I wasn't even allowed near where he was going to his uh, interview with them. And he was uh, very nervous, excited. Um, he was sad to leave Seattle, but of course, leaving Seattle opened a lot of new doors for James. It did bring him home, and um, as a little boy, he grew up watching the Rockets, always wanted to be a Rocket, and his dream, dream has been fulfilled. And now he's the captain of the Kelowna Rockets. I think it's a dream definitely James had for a long time and has fulfilled. And I'll tell you, Kelowna, I want to thank everybody in Kelowna. They have given him an awesome, warm welcome. We love living here as a family. You know, we, it was a great place to raise all our children, and we've got two other boys playing junior hockey outside of the city, of course, and you may see that McEwen name again. That is Brenda McEwen. That's the mother of Rockets team captain James McEwen on the parents' perspective. Hey, Joan, what's up with all the pill bottles in your bathroom? Those are my mother's. She has so many prescriptions. I'm actually getting really worried if she's taking them properly. Mm, I had the same concerns with my father. But then I talked to my Paragon community pharmacist. Cheryl told me about blister packaging. Now all his medications are organized by day of the week and time of day. That sounds great, but expensive. Actually, there's no extra charge for the service. They even deliver his blister packs for free. Paragon Community Pharmacy, bringing quality to life. Good morning, Stan Hill's office. Sandra, I left my briefcase on my desk along with my camera. Can you please check my email? I've lost the address from my meeting. I think I'm going the wrong way. I really think it's time you look into getting a BlackBerry. You'd have all of this at your fingertips. The new BlackBerry 8310 with GPS only from Rogers is priced from $140. Conditions apply. Only from Cellcom, your Rogers wireless authorized dealer in the Lakeland Plaza and Orchard Park Shopping Center. You've got the truck. Now, get the goods at United Hitch and Truck Accessories. Located right on Enterprise, United Hitch and Truck Accessories is the Okanagan Valley's main source for tow bars, running boards, truck covers, custom and brand name hitches, and much, much more. Talk to their knowledgeable staff today for all of your truck accessories and towing gear, United Hitch and Truck Accessories. They know what matters to you. Call them at 861-8711. Stop by 2631 Enterprise Way. Hi, I'm Dean. And I'm Jeff from Okanagan Dodge. Hey, Kelowna. Employee pricing has made our sales volumes explode over the last two months. And that means we're loaded with lots of fresh, fully reconditioned trades and we're ready to deal. We've got over 100 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Some as low as $99 bi-weekly. Check out our deals at www.okanagandodge.com. All fully inspected, they're ready to go, and we're ready to deal. Start your shopping at www.okanagandodge.com. We'll save you thousands. Come 
come to Okanagan Dodge. Highway 97 at the new Enterprise Way. Where BC comes to save. Success is measured through many ways, whether it's on the ice encouraging your teammates or at the office having your partners and employees giving the best advice to business. Teamwork and hard work are solid foundations from which all success is built. Grant Thornton, Chartered Accountants, Management Consultants, works as a team to assist you in meeting your goals for personal and business success. To learn more on what the winning team at Grant Thornton can do for you, call 712-6800. Grant Thornton, proud to be the preferred advisors for the Kelowna Rockets. Oh, he's coming up the ice. Looks like he's on the defensive. Oh, it's no wonder. He didn't wait until Saturday to buy his hard auction world. He didn't go to auction world and paid way more than he should have. Oh, what's this? He's taking it off the gloves. He's fighting back against high prices. Look at that. He switched teams. He's now with Team Auction World. Save thousands on your next vehicle purchase every Saturday at 11 a.m. Auction World. Highway 97 North at Reed's Corner. This is Kelowna Rockets Hockey on News Talk Sports, AM 1150. And welcome back here to Prospero Place in Kelowna. Score after 40 minutes of play, 3-2, in which the Tigers are the lead. Scoring summary brought to you by Win Rentals, serving Kelowna and area since 1975. Win Rentals definitely giving you in the game, and David, back to the opening period of play, where in fact the Rockets do open up the scoring. For the 20th time this season, the Rockets... Open the scoring in a contest. This time it's Miles McRae. He stays hot. McRae's fifth of the season. Bruciano and Paradis get the assist. And at 13-38, the Rockets had one nothing lead. And then, of course, your first goal of the game. First goal brought to you by Paragon Community Pharmacy. The same guys have been sponsoring this from the very beginning, but now they've got a brand new name. It's Paragon Community Pharmacy bringing quality to life. Wacey Hamilton would get his sixth goal of the season from Dunstill and Carlson at 16:51, just two seconds after... Colin Bowman minor penalty expired so for all intents and purposes a power play goal by Hamilton not officially shows up on the score sheet that way we're 1-1 after 1. Kelowna would open the scoring 3-15 into the second period as Brady Leavold scored a highlight reel goal for Leavold it's his fifth of the season Colin Joe with a nice pass that set him free it's a lone assist and Kelowna had a 2-1 lead Brent Bosch though would get his fourth of the season Tyler Ennis the lone assist at 13-20 and we were tied a pair of goals and then Innes basically just shy of or just over three minutes later three minutes and nine seconds after the Bosch goal he gets one of his own it's an unassisted marker and that's where we stand right now after 40 minutes of play the Medicine Hat Tigers have themselves a three to two lead over the Kelowna Rockets the shots on goal favoring Kelowna 21 to 13 after two periods your shots on goal are brought to you by Minute Tune and Break Auto Centers they're your neighborhood auto repair store. Visit Mike and his gang in 1984, Springfield Road. Yeah, let's go to the out-of-town scoreboard right now. Your out-of-town scores are brought to you by Silcom, your Rogers wireless dealer, and we'll start in the WHL. Kyle Bordas had a hat-trick leading the Calgary Hitmen to a 7-3 win over the Prince Albert Raiders at the Pengro Saddle Dome. 44-21, the shots on goal favoring for the Hitmen who take it tonight. Speaking of taking it, Lusbridge, a 2-1 winner over the Spokane Chiefs despite a Johnson third-period marker to make it a 2-1 game. They can get no closer with the Chiefs. 2-1, your final score. Brazen and Boychuk get goals tonight for the Hurricanes. Musha, they win big 6-1 over the Red Deer Rebels. Fraser McLaren had a pair of goals in that contest for the Warriors. And after 40 minutes, Everett has a 2-1 lead on the strength of a Dane Crowley goal in the second period of play. Uh, they lead Tri-City 2-1 at the Comcast Arena at the Everett's Event Center. Taking a look at the NHL, just the early stages of the third period, Sid the Kid, nowhere to be found on the score sheet. The Oilers look to push themselves back to the 500 mark. They lead 2-0 after 40 minutes of play. Robert Nielsen and Sean Horkoff, the goals tonight for the Edmonton Oilers. Phoenix is a 3-1 lead over the LA Kings. Mike Carroll Malary scoring for the Kings tonight, while Stephen Reinbrecht, Radham Verbata, Peter Mueller with another goal here tonight for Phoenix. That's 3-1 halfway through the third period of play. Late stage is the second. Anaheim has a 2-1 lead on Buffalo. Jochen Heck scoring for the Sabres. Andy McDonald and Matthew Schneider, a power play goal. Schneider, you got to wonder if maybe he's on the market now. Scott Niedermeyer confirming to the Ducks that he will, in fact, return to them this season. New Jersey, it's a pair of goals from... Zach Parise and a pair of goals from Patrick Eliash. The second one from Eliash was the big one. 316 into overtime. They defeat the Boston Bruins by a score of 4-3. Chara, Murray, and Weidman scored for the Bruins. 
4-3 was the final score of this one in a shootout, though. Atlanta knocks off the New York Islanders. Victor Kozlov, the shootout winner tonight. Marian Hossa, Ilya Kovalchuk, and Pascal Dupuy scored for Atlanta. Boy, if Hossa and Kovalchuk are scoring, usually the Thrashers are rolling. Columbus, they get another goal from Rick Nash, make that a pair of goals from Rick Nash, and they get a 5-4 win over the Columbus, or, or Columbus wins 5-4, sorry, over Colorado. Former Florida Rockets, Scott Hannon had a goal on that one. Ottawa snaps a six-game losing skid with a 5-4 win over the Florida Panthers. Philly was a 3-1 winner over Minnesota. Upshaw, Carter, and Braden Coburn with goals tonight for the Flyers. Pavel Dimitra had the long goal for Minnesota. The Canucks win 3-2. Matthias Oland, Byron Ritchie, and Brennan Morrison scored goals tonight for the Canucks. Marty LaPointe and Martin Havlett had goals for the Hawks. And Dallas, they go down 3-2 to two to the San Jose Sharks. Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe, and Jonathan Chichu scored goals. Speaking of those guys score, they usually get wins. Uh, it's pretty much the same scenario in San Jose. Chicho, Marlow, and Thornton get goals tonight in the 3-2 win. Thank you, David. That's your out-of-town scoreboard, but that's your summary. Of course, right here in Kelowna, 3-2, the Tigers have the lead. That is after 40 minutes of play, but stand by. The third period is next. You're listening to the WHL at AM 1150. A scratch. Something happened to your car and you want it fixed quickly. Mark 5 Auto Body is the place to go. Their technicians are certified and work with pride to give you superior quality and satisfaction. Express repairs means you'll be in and out quickly. They have state-of-the-art equipment, courtesy cars, and they're ICBC accredited. I'm Jenko, owner of Mark 5 Auto Body. I would like you to come and experience the difference of having your vehicle repaired by our great family. Mark 5 Auto Body on Railway Avenue or visit mark5autobody.com. The Kelowna Rockets have partnered with Flight Center and Transat Holidays to bring you extraordinary saves. With direct flights from Kelowna to sunny Mexico, Transat Holidays is the choice for your winter vacation. Book your Transat Holidays winter vacation package with Flight Center before October 31st and take advantage of amazing early booking bonuses and ask about the exclusive Kelowna Rockets discount offer. With two locations in West Bank on Dobbin Road and in the Orchard Park Shopping Center, Flight Center unbeatable. You're listening to Kelowna Rockets Hockey on News Talk Sports, AM 1150. And welcome back here for the third period. Third period opening face up brought to you tonight by Bell Mobility, the Orchard Park Shopping Center. Off the draw, the Tigers in a deep into Rocket territory. West Bloom, the net miner, sprinkled against the near board. Glass will collect, took a wrist shot. West Bloom, the left hand save, gathered up by McMillan, and he'll dish it back over to center ice. The last for Sauer. Here's Sauer on right wing. He'll live it on right wing now, trying to move it inside the attacking zone with some speed. Here's Dean Todd. He mishandled at the Rocket Blue line. Corralled here by Myers, and he'll look the other way. Myers, he'll just lay it off the glass. Inside Tiger territory. And here's Evan Bluedoff with it now. Bluedoff trying to send to the goal. Ball knocked away. Good defensive play by the Tigers. And now moved by Dunstall to center. Right side for Yesha Farmanera. Farmanera on right wing. Long range rush shot. It went wide. Ricocheted off the board. And comes all the way back towards the Tiger Blue. Medicine had a far greater team on home ice than they are on the road, where they're just 3-6-2 and two on the season. Well over 500 on home ice. Tough team to play against at the arena in Medicine Hat. I was a little surprised when I looked at that statistic as they came in. The fact that, yeah, well, they had 16 victories coming into this game tonight. Only three on the road. And yeah, not a lot of road games played, period. They're making up that in a big way this uh, this next coming week in a bit. That's right, yeah, they're going down to the States, going to spend some hard Canadian currency down there as the Canadian dollar, what, slipped slightly below the American greenback. Here's a shot from the blue line, a save by West, Bloom gathered up at the side, Ennis, he can't pull the trigger in a second chance. Here's Ennis down the right corner, Ennis trying to soup away from Ben, Ben, good defensive play down low, Ennis though with a steal. And it's now against the right side board of the blue line. Here's Conan, a drive blocked here, went right into the midsection of Lucas Bluedoff. Bluedoff trying to clear the zone. Kenny? No, he can't. He has kept it in. He'll send into the corner. Now here's Luke Shen with it now. Shen pumps his center. Conan's there. He'll lay it back inside Rocket Territory. Two minutes in to period number three. 
Shin dumps it back towards the Tiger blue line. Conan for Grant. Grant on the swing, trying to barge his way in. Kidner negates that. Good body contact. Leobold down to center for Bruciano. Bruciano lost it. Cameron's there. He'll feed back towards the Tiger blue line. Here's last with a doubt. Trying to turn in with some speed now. That's Sean Ringrose. He mishandled the puck. Rockets get there. And Bowman drills it off the board. And he gets it to center ice right side to land Kidner. Kidner trying to turn in. Lost it. And of the Tigers one more time. Third back towards the Rocket Blue. And here's Bowman in his own zone. And that's the center Liam Old. He'll feed on left wing. Brandon McMillan inside the zone. Wrist shot and a save by Rose Burnham. He's going to hang on. He's been pretty strong tonight as the Medicine Hat Tiger goaltender who, as I said earlier, six straight starts for the goaltender coming into tonight's game. He's looked good tonight. Kicking aside 20 of the 22 shots corrected his way. Christopher Westbloom. Three goals against on just 15 shots fired his way. Couple of lucky bounces though by Medicine Hat. Culprits here in this one. Look at the Tyler Innes go ahead marker. Really, it was a centering feed that went right through the crease, caught post, and went in. Here's Joe at the Rocket Blue line to center left side for Cody Allman and for Brandon McMillan, but he's smothered and covered by Todd, and he'll dish it back towards the Rocket Blue line. Colin Joe in a puck battle here. He'll feed out to Tyler Myers. Myers will head man. Cody Allman through center. Right side, Miles McCray. McCray will try to sprint in. Miles McCray will send to the goal. Multiple for Bruschiano knocked away. And picked up by Dunstall. He'll turn back out of the neutral zone. Right side, center. Sent back inside Kelowna territory. Westbloom leaves the puck side of the goal. And there's Joe now for McCray. McCray on right wing. Gains the red line. He's going to dump it back in. Milan Kinder's in the four check along with Matt Bruschiano. Tied up deep in the corner. Kidner and a punk battle. Gets it to Bruciano. Bruciano back to blue to line for Tyson Dozak. Dozak now right point. Bowman. Bowman a drive. Hit the goal post. And stayed out. Hickmon will try to clear. Cat goes back towards the blue line. It's not kept in by Dozak. Puck to center ice. Rockets drill it back in. Goes to show it's just a game of inches here as Colin Bowman flips it in on goal. Plus Rhoda nowhere near being able to see it to make a stop on it. It gets all the way through clean and clanks off the iron. Center right area, left side. It's now Hickmont that'll just backhand it in. Giving chase is Tyson Dozak. Bottom zone goal. Other pass on left wing, Ben. He'll hit man Dylan Hood through center. Here's Hood. Got away from another check. He'll bring on left wing inside the line. Rashad midsection save by Von Verda. And he's going to hang out for a whistle here. As Dylan Hood provides some energy for the Kelowna Rockets. The Rockets trying to get back in the wind column after dropping a 3-1 decision to Chilliwack on Sunday. Well, and automatically you love their effort here tonight compared to that game Sunday night in Chilliwack. A miserable all-round night that was. I mean, from getting there, uh, the atmosphere in the building, you can't blame the people of Chilliwack for not coming out that night. I mean, uh, listen, if we think snow is tough in the Okanagan, boy, oh boy, you haven't seen anything until you get a major dump in the Fraser Valley. They just do not know what to do with it. It was pretty treacherous. I mean, if you recall leaving after the game, it went from snow to rain. There was an on-wrap. We couldn't even get up. I mean, uh, you know, Roger had to... Uh, engage the uh, <laughs> the hydraulic spikes as you, you told me about and and really I mean it was pretty dicey there for a little while it was yeah I mean the weather conditions is not good whatsoever at least the road conditions not good whatsoever amazing though the number of people that actually went out and drove that night Rockets really had no choice obviously to get to that game in Chilliwack here's a steal by Long trying to center shot here from Lucas and a pad save by the goaltender Voss Verda he got the left pad down to make the save, turn back to center. Here's Henderson left wing inside Rocket territory. Has it the face off circle, smothered and covered by Lucas, but will get it down low to the corner. Here's Bosch with it now. He centers, knocked away by defensive Ben, and Ben will just chip it off the board and get it back towards the Tiger blue line. Tyler Ennis has more speed than the Corona Rockets know how to handle right now. Center is here in Sauer. Sauer gains the red line. He'll dump it in right corner. Grant collides in the play here with Colin and Joe behind the goal. Myers, only pass for Brandon McMillan. McMillan looks forward. McMillan, he's going to put it high in the air, but can't clear it in by Cameron. Good play. They're trying to get it down low, but now finally won by McMillan, and he'll get it back out to the neutral zone. Turn back in on left wing. Inside the attacking zone, Ring Rose gets it to the right corner. Rockets on Myers to his body here on Cameron. Cameron's hurt on the play. Tigers want a penalty. They're not going to get one. As Willie DeJordan's the head coach, is upset at the bench. Rockets will turn to center. McMillan, he'll feed for Cody Allman on left wing. Allman inside the zone. A shot. And a save by the goaltender, Voss Verda. He tried to go higher with a glove hand, but Voss Verda came out to cut down the angle. Here's Cameron the other way in right wing. A long-range drive blocked. 
Hell picked up here. Dunstall, the picks up circle and drive blocked again. Corralled by Leobold, and Leobold was trying to turn the other way. We did the six minute mark here in period number three, and the Tigers have themselves a 3 2 lead. Leobold will gain the red line. He's going to dump it into the corner. Carlson will give chase, and he'll snap it back. Go to center. Colin Bowman is on blue line. Mishandled the puck. Parmanera kept it in. He'll beat out to Dunstall. Dunstall now to the corner. Right corner inside Rocket territory. Dane Hattad with it now. Behind the goal for Dunstall. Dunstall in the right corner. Pushed upon here by Tyson Doe. Zach Novelland Kittner is in a puck battle with Farmanera deep in the right corner. Inside Rocket territory. Dunstall there as well. It goes back towards the blue line. Now picked up by Bowman. Rockets will clear to center. Here's right wing Evan Bludoff. And he'll just snipe it back inside the Tigers zone. 13-13 left to go here in the third period. And the Tigers lead by a single. Puck back to center. Ice Barry will tap it into the Rocket bench. Oh, and so we get a stoppage of play. We'll take a break with a one-goal hockey game on our hands. You're listening to the WHL at AM 1150. Ready to begin a healthier, fitter lifestyle, but unsure where to start? Here's good news. Popeye Sports Supplements can help send you off in the right direction. Popeye's has all the right products to help you reach your goals. Whether you want to lose weight, increase your strength, speed up muscle recovery, improve your endurance and stamina, build lean muscle, or just flat out get bigger. The time to start is now, and in the place to start is Popeye's. Popeye's, helping you reach your goals. Come see their new store at 114 2189 Springfield, across from Orchard Park Mall. Here's Glass's shot of the blue line, knocked down in front. Now Long will take back to center. Long and right wing will gain in the red line, and he's going to just drill it in. Right corner, Benfeld grappling with Lucas Bludoff, following up here. It's Colin Long with a steal. Long with it now, he'll feed to Lucas. Lucas against the right side board. Lucas trying to get away from Benfeld. He'll feed to the right corner, but Sauer's there, and he'll just lay it back out of the neutral zone. Shen with it right side center. Shen tries to skate in. Feeds up here to Ben. Ben was looking the wrong way. Glass has the puck. And he'll feed and get it back out of center ice here for Hickmon. To his pocket pick by Lucas, who turns back in. Lucas on right wing. Lost the handle here to Glass, who clears back out of the neutral zone. Hickmon now steal off of Myers. Here's the drive, but Myers got back in time to recover. Went up a Myers stick to the shot from Hickmon. Goes over the glass and out of play. Jordan Hickmon breaking in. Looking for his third goal of the season. And Tyler Myers needed all six foot seven of that reach to... Get his stick in front of Hickmon's drive. It goes up and into the net here with 12-16 to go in the third period of play. And the Senat Tigers hanging on to a 3-2 lead. Two goals in the second period. The difference in this one after Brady Leavold had given the Golden Rockets lead. Bosch and Ennis with the Tigers right back in front. That's your in-game update brought to you by Mid-Valley Sheet Metal. Grant with a chance at the side of the goal on a broken play. And unfortunately, the Tigers couldn't get a quality, quality chance on a giveaway. And the puck comes back inside Tiger territory. Hopping out of Brandon McMillan. He'll get it out of the right corner, but he's watched here by Sauer. Miles McCray's out there, as is Dylan Hood on this exchange for Kelowna. Rockets looking for the equalizing goal with 11.45 left to go in the third period. And the Tigers clear and get it back towards the Rocket Blue Line and beyond. Colin Joe hurries to it. Outlet pass down to center. Here's Miles McCray. McCray trying to turn in. Pushed up it by Farmanera. Good contact by Farmanera. Dunstall has the puck. He'll feed to the defenseman here. Goes right to center. Pass from Farmanera for Todd back inside the line. Back from Farmanera knocked away by Bowman. Goes back towards the blue line. Dunstall to drive it went wide. Remains in the corner as the Tigers move it around. It's Yasha Farmanera with it now. Farmanera trying to get away from Tyson Dozak. Tied up as Farmanera falls down on the puck and we get a whistle. And a draw to the right of Christopher Westbloom. I want to congratulate Darren Forbes tonight who, thanks to Miles McRae's fifth goal of the year, has now entered into the... December draw for the lucky goal of the game contest brought to you by Howard the Jewelers on Bernard. Darren went to am1150.ca and filled out the online entry form. And if you'd like to participate in the lucky goal of the game contest, all you have to do is the same thing. Linda Webb, James Pengilly, already winners of $500 from Howarth on Bernard this year. Here's Leobold to steal. He'll bring on right wing inside Tiger territory. Try to send it to the goal mouth. Knocked away by Glass, and Glass will take back. Behind his own goal. Rockets in it long with Leopold and Jamie Ben up front. So the Rockets' number one line has been reunited, if you will, at least here in the third period. Leopold's got a goal tonight for Kelowna. And here's Ben of Steel. He'll try to walk in. Leopold hit on the blue line. So Finley coming up here to the Tigers. Here's Ben a drive and it went wide. Here's Barry trying to send down low for long. Now back to blue line. It's Leopold with it. He'll take a drive. That just went wide. Remains in the right corner. Touched here by Hamilton. Finley, though, coming up here to the Tigers. The Rockets go back to the man advantage. Over two tonight with the man advantage. But 
Never a better time than a third period deficit to try and get one. It's going to be an interference minor. Wacy Hamilton, his second minor penalty of the night now for the Medicine Hat Tigers. Rockets go back to the man advantage, and Ryan Huska is going to call for a timeout here with 10.32 to go in the third period. The man advantage, they need a power play goal. Toronto Rockets, of course, after tonight's game, will board the bus, will head off to Alberta. They'll take on the left for Hurricanes on Friday. Saturday night will be an off day, and then Sunday in Regina to take on the Pats. Monday will be an off day, Tuesday in Moose Jaw. Wednesday, they got a game in Brandon, then a day off on Thursday of next week, and then on Friday, they're going to be in Saskatoon to take on the, or make that Prince Albert, I should say, on Friday, Saturday. Saturday, Saskatoon. Saskatoon. It'll be neat being back in Regina, seeing Troy O'Fokin and Kurt Hill. Mm. Players of the Rockets went the other way. A deal that saw Kyle St. Dennis come to the Colorado Rockets last season. It'll be interesting to see how quick St. Dennis makes it back. I know he is pretty rattled by Bo Montgomery's hits, and certainly the Rockets, with all head injuries, are as cautious as you can be. So the Colorado Rockets go to the power play. Shen for Ford back into the Rocket territory with the puck one against the right side board and a wrist shot. From Ringrose in a midsection save by the West Bloom, he's going to hang on. Rockets a lot of time here in the man advantage. 148 to go in this man advantage. Going to 0 for 2 on the night. You know, Regan, with the Golden Rockets power of play this year is clicking at 20%. You haven't seen a lot of dominating games where maybe they were 4 for 7 or 5 for 8, something like that. But this hockey club has consistently produced power play goals virtually night in and night out. No better time to get one right now is they're in a one-goal hole. Here's Shen, a shot from the blue line. It trickles wide on a deflection redirection. Remains in the right corner. Yasha Farmanera is in there, long with a steal. Long in the corner. Goes back to blue line for Luke Shen. Shen the drive. Hit the shin pad of Farmanera, who's down on one knee. And the Tigers gain the puck, and they rip it over the glass and it'll play. Glass ripped it over the glass, and uh, we have a penalty coming up here to the Tigers. We may, and the Rockets may have a five-on-three now. Uh, what a break for the Colorado Rockets. It's an absolutely heart-stopping penalty. If you're the Medicine Hat Tigers, they're pleading their case that I got deflected or hit glass and went out. But this does not appear that it's a battle they're going to win. As Trevor Glass is going to head to the box, likely for a delay a game minor, and with 119 still to go in the Wacy Hamilton minor, the Kelowna Rockets are going to have an extended five-on-three advantage here as they look to draw even in this contest. Face out to the left of the Tiger goal. One by Long goes back towards the blue line. Barry, he'll fade out to Brandon McMillan. Back for Tyson Barry. Barry now back for Brandon McMillan. He'll send to the side here for Colin Long. Trying to center for Lucas. Knocked away. Third by the Tigers. They'll get it back to center ice. Rockets have to be wary, though. Tigers are uh, pretty proactive in putting on pressure when they're shorthanded. Even though it's now a 5 on 3 situation for the Rockets here. They look for the equalizing goal. Goes back towards the blue line. Brandon McMillan, he'll walk in. Here's the shot. Good save by the goaltender. Boss Verda came out to cut down the angle. Remains in the corner now for Long. He'll feed to Brandon McMillan. Right point for Barry. Back for Brandon McMillan. Side of the goal, Long. Long trying to center, knocked away. Remains loose in the right corner. Here's Jamie Ben with it now. 38 seconds left at a five on three. Barry blue line. Left point, Brandon McMillan. He'll stand here to Long. Long stick. Handling can pull the trigger. He'll go back to Brandon McMillan. A wrist shot. And a leg. Puck sitting loose. And then knocked to the corner by Benfield. And the Tigers clear back out of the neutral zone. Good chance here for the Rockets. 19 seconds left in the 5-on-3. Ben will try to turn in. Cross his feet for Colin Long. Long back to the blue line for Barry, who just kept it in. He'll feed to McMillan back for Barry. Barry walks in. Fans want him to shoot. He'll fire. Save rebound. Side of the goal beats the netminder on the five on three. It's a power play goal and it's a three three tie. Persistence pays. Colin Long's 15th of the season. He parked himself right in front of that net. Ross Rona made the stop. But could not hang on to the rebound. Tyson Berry should pick up another power play assist. With 838, the Kelowna Rockets have even things up. Good news, they still have 47 seconds remaining and the penalty to glass. Kelowna Rockets goal, scored on the power play, his fifth of the season, scored by number 11, Colin Long.
the assists to number 17, Lucas Bludov. And to number four, Tyson Berry. Time to make the goal, 11-22. Kelowna goal on the power play, scored by number 11, Colin Long. Assisted by number 17, Lucas Bludoff, and number four, Tyson Berry, at 11-22. And a draw to the right of the Medicine and Tiger goal. 33 seconds left at a rocket man advantage in a 3-3 game. Here's Milan Kinder down low in the right corner inside Tiger territory. He's smothered and covered on the play. Good defensive effort by Colton Grant. Grant tries to get free. Can clear Myers' blue line. Left point now for Luke Shin. Shin a drive hit his shin pad. Collected Elgin. The board by Cody Ullman. Ullman with it now. Ullman stick handling. Waits hesitates. Try to gun it towards the side of the goal. Knocked away. Goes back by the net. Carlson's there. He's hooked in the plane. We get a penalty. This one going to Kelowna. So in seven seconds, David, hooking minor. It'll be the Tigers going to a power play of their own. Milan Kinder's going to go for hooking a little over exuberant behind the goal as he took down Colby Carlson. He just knew the next one was going to go to the Kelowna Rockets, and Zalaski sends Kittner for two. And as you say, we'll play four on four for just seven seconds, and the Medicine Hat Tigers will go back to the man advantage tonight. They're 0 for 2. Power play tonight brought to you by Kelowna Volvo Hondo and Hyundai. You can visit them at 1210 Lee Bedroom. And the draw comes outside of that Medicine Hat Tiger blue line. And it'll be the Rockets sitting with Brandon McMillan, Miles McRae, Luke Shen, and also Tyson Dozak on the penalty kill. Hamilton and Ennis are out there, along with Carlson and Benfield. And once again, we're playing 4-4 four -four hockey for only two seconds. Now Glass comes out of the box, the penalty box. And now the Tigers are officially to a man advantage, and here they come. Carlson's going to take down a center. Carlson on left wing will gain the red line, tries to backhand it in, but Shen's there, and he'll lift it all the way down the ice. It'll be Glass that takes out of his own goal, and now he'll try to move forward. Glass slowly to center. He's here to Carlson, who'll gain the red line, try to rip it in. Knocked away by Dozak, and Dozak to clear. No, he can't. Ennis kept it in at the blue line. Here's Ennis with it now. He'll stick handle. Does a great job to avoid a check of Brandon McMillan. He'll feed right point Carlson. Carlson down low for Ennis. Ennis down to the right corner. Hamilton. Hamilton trying to center. Knocked away. Comes loose for Ennis again. Ennis stumped for a second. Got back up. He'll feed on the right corner for Hamilton as they move it around to the Tigers here with a man advantage. Here's Hamilton for Ennis. Ennis against the right boards. Trying to get away from Shen. Shen, good job to harass Ennis. Puck goes back out to center. Then Ennis almost lost it here to Lucas Boot off the goaltender. It's a play it. Oh, and it almost went out the shin pad of Ennis. And there was a wide open goal, obviously, but the puck went back by the Tiger net. Boy, a heck of a job. Started by Luke Shen. Lucas Bluedoff finished it up. Russ Roto went out to, to play it, and then, as you say, hit Ennis and nearly rolled into the Medicine Hat Tiger goal. Rockets sent it all the way down the ice. Six and a half left to go here in the third period. In a 3-3 tie, Rockets and Tigers here tonight. Here's Yasha Farmanero's speed. The 20-year-old brings in. Upended on the play by the linesman. Farmanero didn't like that as he had something to say to the linesman as he skated by. Goes back towards the blue line. Bosch now for Todd. Dean Todd left point for Farmanero. Blue line and Bosch. Far side board trying to stick handle with it here. That's Tyler Annis. Blue line. Here's the shot saved by Westbloom. Rebound! And Westbloom does a great job to get the left pad down. Rockets can they clear the cat. Bosch kept it in right point. He'll send to Ennis now for Farmanera. Farmanera trying to send a but he was going the wrong way. McCray's there. He'll work it off the glass, get it back out of the neutral zone. Slowly doubles inside Tiger territory as the power plays come to an end. Good kill, David, by the Rockets there. Very good energy by the corner Rockets. Here's Shen trying to turn in, but Allman too quick on the right side. They're going to call it on the offside. 5.47 remaining here in the third. We're tied at three. This is the WHL at AM 1150. We simply can't wait. Kelowna Hyundai has lowered the GST in our vehicles to 5% right now. Take advantage of amazing new model and clear out pricing on new Hyundais like best-selling Santa Fe, Tucson, and Veracruz, and pay only 5% GST. Pre-owned Hyundais pay just 5% GST. Why wait for January? Let's do it now. Pay just 5% GST on both new and pre-owned. Not later, right now. Only at Kelowna Hyundai, 1210 Leafhead Road, 491-9467. Okay, pal, you ready to swing? Because I'm going to throw one right across home plate for you. Here it goes. Great. Oops. Fred? Oh, um, uh, hi, Marv. Yeah, so it looks like I'll be calling Standard Auto Glass. Again. Oh, um, I didn't know that they did residential windows, too. Locally owned and operated, Standard Auto Glass is the number one choice for all your auto and residential glass needs. Call 860-6666 or visit them today on the corner of Springfield and Kirshner. Put your hands up in the air. 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 
fair place in Kelowna. And the draw just outside the Tiger blue line. We're playing five on five hockey, by the way. Trying to turn in on right wing is Bay. Bay inside the zone. Cameron too quick. Middle part of the ice surface. They're going to call it on the offside. You know, as good as the Medicine Hat Tiger power play has looked tonight at the end of the night. They're now 0 for 4 with a man advantage. We'll see if that maybe come back and haunt them before this night is out. You, know, you recall for the Florida Rockets really a couple of times this year where the power play didn't produce and really hurt them. I remember that game in Everett. But they ended up losing in overtime with Trevor Daly, or is that Daly goal scoring? Um, you know, 0 for 6 that night with the man advantage. Yeah, I remember that game very, very well. Zach Daly scoring, of course, he in overtime, leading the Everett Silver Tips to that victory. And a real good hockey game there at the Everett Event Center. Here's him blowing off a steal now in his own zone, and he'll just lay it off the board and get it back inside Tiger territory. Race for it now between Benfeld and Evan. Evan Bluedoff's going to just push it back on the goal, and Benfeld's there. Benfeld, the team captain here for the Medicine Ad Tigers. Comes at the right side of his own goal. On the pass now for Glass. Glass to center with five minutes exactly left to go here in regulation time. And 3-3 the score. West Bloom, he'll spread against the far side board, but Hickmont's there. Hickmont then lost it in the right corner. And that to Barry. Barry rims the puck near side wall here for Long. Long, can he get away from a check of Carlson? No, he can't. Carlson kept it in. Trying to go to the corner with it, but Shen's there. Shen tapped it to Leobold. Leobold can't get away from Dunstall. No, Shen gives it a try. And Shen will backhand it to center ice right side Leobold. Saucer pass here to Ben. Knocked away. Dunstall tries to turn back in. Dunstall on right wing. Lays it back on the rocket goal. And here's Tyson Barry with it now, who comes at the right side of his own net. He'll feed it along, who just slaps it out of center. Carlson's there, lost the puck, goes back towards the Tiger blue line. Here's Sauer for Dunstall. Dunstall on right wing will backhand it inside Rocket territory. This game up for grabs here tonight in a 3-3 score with four minutes left to go in the third. Ben to center, gains a red line. He's going to dump it in. Long will give chase. Long's got a goal tonight, as is Brady Leobold, who has it in the right corner. Inside Tiger territory, trying to get away from a jack here of Sauer. Now Conan is in there. Goes back on the goal, Leobold. Leobold down the left corner, back bundle over Colin Long. Long on the backhand. Long now has in the right corner. Long at the face south circle. Long still looking for somebody to pass to. Long to the blue line. Here's Lucas blew off a drive, deflected wide. Goes back on the goal down the left corner. Brandon McMillan. McMillan centers. Nobody home. The Tigers will vacate the zone. Tyler Ennis has it. And he'll lift it back out to the center ice area. Drilled back into rocket territory. Colin Joe's got to hurry to it. Will. Hide his own goal. Joe out of the pass on left wing. Brandon McMillan. He'll get it now to Cody Ullman. Ullman trying to gain the blue. Trying to work it back into the Tigers zone. Negated. Comes back towards the rocket blue line. And here's Luke Shen. Through center ice right side. Cody Ullman. Ullman inside. Tiger territory. Puts in the brakes at the right point. He'll send now to the left corner. Benfeld out muscles. Evan Blue off to the puck. Benfeld will get it to Glass. Glass will take it back on his own goal. Other pass on left wing. Grant, he can't handle. Puck to center. Here's Shen for Evan. A pass on left wing, but Ullman trapped inside the line. They're going to call it on the offside. Just 3.05 to go here in the third period. Overtime looms large for these two clubs. For a pretty good game here tonight. Thomas Rosverto, the difference, I think, in this contest tonight. The Medicine Hat Tiger goaltender. Making 29 stops here tonight for the Tigers. Off the draw just outside the line. It's sent back inside the attacking zone. Near side board is Hamilton. Hamilton lost it here to Kittner. Kittner, he'll drill it off the window and get it all the way back towards the Tiger blue line. Carlson there. He'll feed out to Cameron. Cameron in his own zone. Cameron actually forced to the right corner. Here by Milan Kittner. Miles McCray's in there as well. Carlson and McCray will work it back by the goal. McCray's on the forecheck, but he's squeezed out on the play here by Sauer. Carlson's in there as well, looking for a loose puck, as is Sauer. Working the wall, here's Milan Kidner. Kidner trying to take back by the net. Kidner, good job, trying to center. He was hooked in the play, looked at the official, no penalty. And Hamilton turns back to center. He'll gain the red line, he'll just simply dump it in. They will give chase in the corner. They in a puck battle with Tyson Dozak. Now picked up by Evan Bludoff, and he'll just snap it all the way down the ice. Does it have momentum for icing? No, it's been called here on a icing. As Benfeld was slow in getting back for that icing call. Kittner wanted a call, but I'd have to think that it's going to take quite a bit for Hanson or Zalaski to send anybody to the box here with just 2.15 to go in the third period of play. A 3-3 hockey game. Well-contested contest here tonight. Tigers unable to get an opportune power play goal when perhaps they could have used one most. 0 for 3 tonight with the man advantage. Here's a shot coming from Ennis off the ensuing face off to the right of West Bloom, and he worked it wide. 
Benfield trying to send to the corner, knocked away by Long. Long has it now. Long will get it out to center ice. Here's Brady Leobold. He'll hop on it. He'll bring on left wing inside the zone. Leobold puts in the brakes, then lost the handle on the puck. Now Long there. Long had it slapped off his stick. And Farmanera now to center. He'll feed to Ennis, who's dangerous. He'll feed back on right wing Farmanera. Farmanera inside Rocket territory. Took it to the right corner. He tried to feed it to Ennis at close range. Remains loose in the corner. Popped forward by Lucas. Can he clear? No, he can't. Tigers keep it in. Good job by Anderson on his knees. He tried to rip it towards the goal. Knocked away by Barry. Head manning to center right side long with a minute and a half left to go here in the game. Long a shot and a save by the goaltender with a blocker. It looked like Voss Verda was going the wrong way, but he got a piece at the last second. The puck now is center and jumps into the rocket bench. And we got a stoppage of play. Yeah, I really think Voss Verda was screened on that call and long shot. Long went far side, blocker side, and just missed putting that puck in. Motor Rockets ever so close to taking a 4-3 lead, but 126 to go in the third period of play. We remain even Steven at three apiece. And a draw at center ice. And off the face off is one here by Ringrose. He'll get it near to Glass. He'll gain the red. He'll dump it back in. Westblum, the dead miner. He'll just lay it here to Luke Shen, who comes to the right side of his own goal. Major to Cody Allman. He'll slap it to center. Glass is there. Try to drill it back inside the line, but negotiated by Dozak to center for Allman, but the pass in his skates. Now Grant will give it a try. Grant on left wing. Rips it back on the Rocky goal with a minute left to go here in the third period. And a 3-3 tie. Dozak, he'll just snap it off the board and get it back out to center ice. Ringrose trying to turn in, but knocked out his stick by McMillan. He'll turn the other way. McMillan on left wing inside Tiger territory. Hit by Benfield in the corner. Goes back on the goal. Now Cody Ullman's on the forecheck, but Glass wants to stop it to play. Glass nailed it against the inboard. Now Benfield gets there. Hold it pass for Dunstall. He can't get there, but it comes back out to center ice. Myers on right wing. Gains the red line. He'll dump it back in. Glass in the right corner. Shovels it back on his own goal. There's Benfield coming up the right side. He'll try to snap it to center. Hamilton can clear. Cameron, he'll give it a try. And here's Cameron on left wing. Didn't gain the red line. He'll dump it all the way down. Won't go for icing, though. And Tyler Myers bought his own goal. Comes at the left side with 20 seconds remaining here in regulation. Myers at center. Myers on right wing inside Tiger territory. Hit by Carlson and the linesman. Linesman had hurt on the play. And the fans appreciate the body contact. Her best hit of the night, Myers on the linesman Thurston. Puck comes out to center. Picked up here by Ennis with two seconds remaining as he breaks inside the line. Time will expire here in regulation. We go to OT. Geez, and I had my hit of the game as Patrick Lepke on Yasher Farmanera. So I have to say, which way we'll go in the post-game show? But we've got some choices now. That's all you like to have. Yeah, that's good news. We're going to overtime here, David. I don't know if that's good or bad news. From a Kelowna Rocket standpoint, it's almost like when the Tigers have more room to work with, they became, become a little bit more of a threat offensively. Well, that's right. And four-on-four four hockey, never a lot of fun. Medicine Hat. This year has gone to the extra session six times. They have three wins, two losses, and a shootout loss. So they tend to get it done in overtime. Kelowna Rockets, so pretty good effort here tonight. Thomas Ross Rota, the difference in this game. 32-18, the shots is on goal. We're going to take a break. and be back with the OT session in just a moment. You're listening to the WHL at AM 1150. It's lightning on frozen water. Hockey season's coming at you faster than Sid the Kid on a one-on-one. -on -one. Are you ready? Chevy's. Chevy's horse for sports. Hockey season, that's all you need to know. Nike, Bauer, Reebok, Easton, Graf, Williams. Chevy's where the top brands are, where your team goes to save. Hockey season starts at Chevy's Horse for Sports. Great deals, skates to sticks, cups to caps and grills, for beginners to could have been a pro. Chevy's. Chevy's Horse for Sports is your source for hockey. In the Orchard Plaza, game on. Welcome back here to Overtime at Prosper Lakes in Kelowna. Regan Bartell, color analyst David Michaud. And so far for hockey, obviously, in this five-minute overtime session. And if nothing is decided here, we'll go into a shootout here tonight. Kelowna Rockets look like they may send out Lucien. Yeah, he'll be out there a lot, I would assume, in this overtime period. Tyson Dozak's played pretty well and checked it back to the Rocket lineup after missing Sunday's game in Chilliwack. Rocket is still without James McEwen, their team captain, and Kyle St. Dennis, who remains sidelined with a concussion. And Cody Allman, who's had a hot hand here at home ice. Rocket's hoping that hot hand will continue here in OT. Cody Allman, 
six goals scored on the season, every one of them here at Prospera Place. Basically, this year, the Rockets, when a game gets to overtime, regardless of whether it goes to a shootout or not, they're 4-4 four and four this year. So, pretty much 50-50. Pick your poison here for the Kelowna Rockets. Right? Here's Shinnola bringing inside his own wrist shot, fluttering attempt. DC glove hand grab by... Vosverda, and he's going to hang on a key draw, though, to the right of the Tiger goal. Pretty simple stop for Vosverda to get into the flow of the overtime session here. Just 12 seconds in, Shen's harmless shot goes into the mitt. We get a face-off to the right of the Medicine Hat goaltender. Cody Allman will do damage here at the dot, and Dunstall's going to win it, though. Tigers no game control. Here's an outlet pass, which is almost picked off. Now Glass has it. He'll move to center. Glass and lift wing inside rocket territory. Try to center the goal mouth for Farmanera. Knocked away. Here's Barry turning the end of the way. Barry at center. Chris crossing with Cody Allman. Here's Barry inside the zone. Snapshot save. Midsection save by Voss Verda. As he really likes to come on to challenge the shooters. Great positioning by the goaltender tonight. Yeah, he does a real good job out on top of that blue ice. Nice and Barry. Not a lot to see as he put that shot in on Tomas Voss Verda. 33 to 18 now their shots on goal 2-0 in the overtime session two pretty innocent shots though one by luke shen one by tyson berry yeah, you're gonna have to get in a little tighter in order to beat him tonight we saw that obviously the 60 minutes of play rockets getting some anti-quality chances and that's where they got both of their or make up their three goals here tonight Hawk down to center ice to near Sauer. He'll just send it deep inside Rocket territory. Dozak in the corner. Trying to feed it Tyler Myers. Myers will lift it forward here to Colin Long. And Long moves back to center. Right side, Leobold. He'll walk in. Here's Leobold. A chance. Shot. Oh! Hit the goal post. What a chance for Leobold to play hero tonight. He hit the iron. Player resumes. Hawk down to center, Carlson. He'll feed Annis. And it's on left wing back for Carlson inside the zone. Walks in. Can't pull the trigger. Carlson right corner snapshot. Glove hand grab West Bloom. He's going to hang on. A buzz in the air as Leobold clanks the iron. Four on four hockey. It's just so much fun. And Brady Leobold takes advantage of that extra room as he walked in on Tomas Rosberta. Flailed himself stacking the pads. A little old school style out of Tomas Rosberta. But... Brady Leobold hits the post. What an effort by both goaltender and player. Do you think Vosverda got a piece of that? I don't know. You know, I originally thought he might have ever so slightly got a piece of that if he did. What an unbelievable stop. And if not, he can thank his best friend. Hawk now back into Rocket territory. Dunstall over skates the puck. Hamilton will try to keep it in left point. He's covered here by Cody Allman. Hamilton has it now. He'll go down low the corner. The back up top. Here's a shot in tight. Actually from the blue line, and then it hit Hamilton. It deflects towards the goal. West Bloom is going to hang on, so the deflection was from in tight on what looked to be an incident drive from the blue line from Conan. Conan ever so gently put that puck in on goal. But much like the Price is Right game, it almost looked more like a Plinko chip going in there. And finally, Christopher West Bloom able to hang on to it and make the stop. So the draw to the left of West Bloom. And take the draw here for Medicine Hat is Ringrose. And off the draw, he goes to the corner. Here's Dozak. He'll feed down to Tyler Myers, who comes at the right side of his own goal. He'll head man out of center, Jimmy Ben. Ben on right wing inside Tiger territory, trying to go out on Glass. Good defensive play by Glass here on Ben. Ben Pilt in there as well. Two responsible defensive defensemen out here now for the Tigers. Remains in the corner. Tyson Dozak will be proactive. He lost the handle. Long's in there. Long will actually gain control as it comes out to center ice. There's Ben on right wing. He'll lift it back inside Tiger territory. Left corner, Benfield. Benfield will dish it back on his own goal for Glass. Glass comes to the left side of his own goal. And he'll feed the puck here to Sean Ringrose. He'll dish it back inside Rocket territory. Here's Vay with it now. Vay in the corner. Smothered and covered by Barry. Barry gets it here to Evan. And now the Rockets turn back to center. Here's Evan with speed. Evan on left wing inside Tiger territory. Left side. Try to dish it down the low for Cody Allman. Knocked away. Cody Allman gets it back again. Cody Allman stick handling. And he's unmuscled off the puck. And cleared to center ice here by Lyndon Bay. Goes back towards the Rocket Blue line. It's Tyson Barry with it now. 2-10. Left the O and OT. Barry gave him the puck. It's turned back in. Here's Dean Todd who lost it here to Barry. And Barry now moves it back to center here for Cody Ullman. Here's Ullman on left wing. Ullman inside Tiger territory. Has the puck. He's forced to the corner by Carlson. Cody Ullman has it back again. Here's Ullman in the corner trying to get away from Carlson. Under two minutes left to go in OT in a 3-3 hockey game. Rockets and Tigers here tonight. 
Blue line, Myers. Can he keep it in? He will. He'll dish it down low to the right corner. And here's Cody Ullman in a puck battle with Sauer. Now Leobold back on the goal. Leobold mishandled the puck. It's picked up here by Carlson, and Carlson will try to move back to center. He'll just glide it back to the neutral zone. Myers right side for Leobold. He'll try to turn in. Leobold against the right wall. Sends it to the goal mouth. Oh, and a save by the goaltender. Glove hand grab. McMillan was going hard towards the goal. Incidental contact, in my opinion, as the goaltender looked to grab the puck in midair. McMillan was going towards the goal, looking for a rebound or a apparent pass. And simply the two collided on the play, and the goaltender will hang on. Boy, I'll tell you, that had the makings of a uh, over-the-middle wide receiver looking for the pass. And Brandon McMillan, maybe trying to play a little defense there. Tackles. Ross Berta, the goaltender. Cooler heads prevail, though. That's a good call by the referee as well to know that that was incidental contact. Brandon McMillan certainly had no intention of running the goaltender, so a, a smart call here in overtime with just 125 to go. We'd hate to see either club get a power play on a, on a play like that. It's your wedding song. You can only wish. Off the draw, it's one here by the Tigers. Picked up by Glass. He'll take back on his own goal. A minute 20 left to go here in OT. And here comes Dennis down to center. Here's Dennis on left wing. Dennis inside the Rocket zone. Trying to send here to Bosch back for Ennis, but that didn't quite work out. Rockets now turn the other way. It's pretty Leobold with it now. He's had a good game tonight. Here's Leobold on right wing inside the zone. Drags to the puck. Can't fire. Now leaves for Myers. going to be the golden boy but it was all the hard work of Brady Leobold working that puck to the slot Myers finds it and rips it up and over the shoulder of the goaltender the Kelowna Rockets skate out of Prosper Place with a 4-3 overtime win season scored by number three Tyler Myers the assists to number 25 Brady Leobold and to number 11, Colin Long. Time of the goal, 3.58. So the Kelowna Rockets get it done here tonight to beat the Medicine Head Tigers by a 4-3 score in overtime. Bray Leobold picks up an assist on the game-winning goal for Leobold. A goal and an assist and a fight in the hockey game. The Gordie Howe hat trick as the Rockets win for the 17th time this year. Rockets record now 17 wins, 10 losses, 2 overtime losses, and 2 shootout losses on the campaign. Once again, your final score, the Kelowna Rockets 4, the Medicine at Tigers 3. This overtime has been a presentation of BC Fasteners and Tools, the Okanagan's leading supplier to construction and manufacturing industry. You've been listening to the WHL on AM 1150. Ronco Roofing, the company that was built by referrals, offering free professional residential and commercial estimates, assuring quality craftsmanship and peace of mind. For all your roofing needs, from fiberglass shingles, asphalt, and cedar to tile, they've got what you'll need. Ronco Roofing, with over 15 years of experience, you can trust that these professionals will get the job done right the first time. Call them today at 869-0360 or check them out online at roncoroofing.com. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm okay vacuums, thanks. What did you say? I'm okay vacuums, thanks. If I was any more okay vacuums, I'd... Hold it. Are you really okay? Vacuums. I'm great. You're saying vacuums after every okay. I'm not. You are too. Just say it. Okay, vacuums. See? What's up? Well, I just got a great deal from Zane. Zane? The go-to guy at OK Vacuums. Aha! I knew it. You had to shop at the biggest and best vacuum store in town, didn't you? OK Vacuums. The biggest and best at Banks and Barron. Am I going to be OK Vacuums? You'll be fine, buddy. You'll be fine. Wish and Win is back at Saturn of Kelowna, and the prizes are bigger and better. Last year, they gave away two brand new vehicles, an Outlook and an Aura, plus thousands of other prizes. Everyone who plays is a winner. Saturn also has a complete new lineup of award-winning vehicles. Best-in-class fuel economy, European designs, and award-winning safety are just some of the features you'll find in this new generation of vehicles. Plus, ask about interest rates as low as 0% and pay only 5% GST right now. Saturn of Kelowna, like always, like never before, on Highway 97. Howard Jewelers on Bernard of St. Paul by the Clock has an extraordinary collection of diamond jewelry. All of it at 50% off. 
19 karat white gold diamond ring, 1.04 karat, surrounded by 0.95 carats of diamonds, appraised at $26,000, on now at Howard's for $8,999. Loose diamonds and spectacular diamond jewelry, 50% off at Howard's. Howard's Jewelers on Bernard at St. Paul by the clock. Wynn Rentals is a real powerhouse again this year with all-star equipment for contractors, home, and industry. Do you know it's the veterans behind the counter that make a difference? They'll help you with genie lift equipment, healthy fastening systems, and Wacker construction equipment. Wynn Rentals' other proven performers include Ingersoll Rand ride-on rollers, Bobcat loaders, and mini excavators. Also, during this cold time of the year, they offer construction heaters. Wynn Rentals on McCurdy Road. Renting is the smart way to get things done. Hear that? That's the sound of a LiftMaster garage door opener. The strong, silent...